when I saw Why You Crying, I saw my life. Mm -hmm. And I was like, damn. And, and you took me out of in the living room with my parents. Yeah. I saw somebody yeah. going through what I complained about, what I didn't like, and mm -hmm. you made it funny. The manguera bit yeah. with the tasting the same. Man, that had me that. dying. I didn't I didn't think we I had met somebody who lived the life I lived. Right. So when you came up or when when that came out, it changed everything. Mm -hmm. Everything to be like, oh, you know what? I gotta be true to myself. Hello everyone! Hola mis amigos. You're listening to Oh my God, hi, hijo de Dios. Hola. With me, George Lopez, porque sabe que let's do the show porque está calado. Let's do the thing. I gotta go to that dry cleaner. I eat. My kid fell. Se pegó la cabeza. I gotta go get some Neo Spore Spore and Paul. You know who George is? Oh, I'm sure he's around here somewhere. What's his name? George Lopez. George Lopez. Oh my God. OMG. OMG. Hi. Oh my God. Hi. You know, I I, I would like to say that. I, I'm going to say that um, I was in a place maybe 30 years ago where I felt very kind of, you know, <clears throat> it's like boxing. Mm. You know, I, I looked at comedy from the beginning as bo I love boxing. Mm. And a lot of boxers have never fucking liked each other. Some some do, like like Ali and, and Frazier. And Ali would, you know, clown them and all that stuff. They really had a lot of hate for each other. You right. know, uh, uh, Larry Holmes and Ali, because he was, uh, you know, kicked his ass and stuff. And mm -hmm. yeah. in a business where it's a singular business like comedy, and when dudes come up, nobody, nobody, there was no social media, so nobody really kind of opened their arms to anyone. It was just a very, you know, hey, that guy's killing. Like, they... They, they talk more about you when you're not around than, than when you were around. But yeah. it's hard to forge any lasting friendships because That's right. it's like a war. You, it's like the war. What, what, four go out and one dude wraps it up. And right. he, 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 it's a wrap and you never see him again. Never see him again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I had this dude uh, that used to be kind of like one of those comedians that went in a tux, you know. <laughs> and he'd be out there, and, and he had the pinky ring, and he goes, yeah, I was, you know, I was a mater d. And he tells some jokes. But, All right, not... Not funny, but he's trying comedy. <laughs> right. Yeah. And I went to go see, I think, Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Mm. And my friend Ernie walked the guy down, and he was in his tux. And I said, hey, what you, what you doing, man? You got a show? Yeah. And he fucking took his flashlight out, and he went, no, I work here. <laughs> in the I work theater, here. man. He worked in the theater. Yeah. Wearing the same tux wow. that he used to wear on stage. And you're just like, wow, man! It's like a survival of the fittest. And mm -hmm. you know, even if you're fit, it doesn't mean you make it. Yeah, right. But to get to a place where you can welcome uh, Latino comedians into your show and help guys, and not have anything in your heart that's bad for them or towards them, mm -hmm. I think I think they're all great. And you know what, man? That wasn't me, fucking mm. 40, 30 years ago. I was like, fuck those motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, no, I can see that. And that you almost have to, right? I can see you that. have to have a, a, and because it's like, and somebody would say, "Didn't you help?" I said, "I, I, met, I, I, I had an opportunity that I created. You help them because of that. Yeah. Like without the George Lopez show, it gave somebody a template. You know, it gave somebody an opportunity. But every week that you're over there, and every week you're a fucking comedian, man." You, your fucking kidney could go out, your fucking leg, <laughs> you could fall, you could hurt yourself, you could fucking break your fucking elbow. It's a fucking hard fucking business. Yeah. And what you have to be funny in that fucking time, man, no matter what goes on in your life. Mm -hmm. So to be able to, you know, just to see Jesse here, man, and, and have him on the show, man, is fucking, is, is great, man. I've only you, got man. one question. My what, 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 are, what are the what, it's, what are it's the a chances? Everybody calls me Jesse. Yeah, Jesse. Yeah, Jesse. Yeah, Jesse. Yeah, sorry, man. Yeah, Jesse. Yeah, Jesse. It was all emotional. Yeah, Jesse. Yeah, Jesse. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesse. No, 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 right, no, no, Jesse. Thanks for no, coming. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. No, thank what are the chances? Everybody fucking Jesse to be. What are the chances of somebody getting a kidney that's fucked up and being a comedian? What are the chances? of that? bad, bad, bad. Yeah. But welcome, man. Welcome. No, thank you. Thank you. Everything you're saying is so true. Like even when I first started, I had that little thing of like, man, why isn't George always like? But then learning and being in the game, yeah, I get it. 
No, and it, I, I understand why you were closed because of everything you went through. Because I go through it. I'm going through it, too, and I'm just like, hey, no wonder he said fuck everybody. Look, at when I walk in, everybody's talking shit, and we were, like, cool. And then at first, everybody's cool, and then everybody starts talking shit about yeah. just like, hey, so so we weren't cool, so that's how you really feel? And then con más ganas, the, you're going to be like, damn, The boy, better you get, like, the... Everybody was in media. It's it, like media, you know what I mean? But that's like, you know, but Latinos were so used to it because even with our families, you know, you can. And, the, and the dudes that are fucking yeah. mamons, like, hey, let's go to the club together. I'll pick you up. Fuck those yeah, fuck yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The, fuck. the nice ones is the worst ones you want to be around with. Like, well, you're whack, fool. Oh, they're fucking, yeah. they were fucking, they're out there in yeah. Fillmore. Hey, I was yeah. there, buddy, tonight. Fillmore. Yeah. 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 Out there, like Fillmore Comedy Club. Yeah, yeah. There has to be a, a level of. Well, you're a fucking police officer, man. Yeah, 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 if yeah. you're if you're like, hey, don't I have a partner in the car, motherfucker? This isn't the fucking LAPD. <laughs> oh, this is law yeah, enforcement. Yeah. This is a sheriff. Yeah. We ride alone. What? Uh, yeah. Oh, I didn't fucking do. Hey, at some point, man. Like I always say, at some point, if you're a boxer, you got eight people with you, ten people. They feed you, they cook for you, and the only wow. time they can't fucking help you is when you. At some point, you got to fucking Let fight for your up. own. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. And when you that's go right. in that room and that door closes and it's 10 guys and you say to yourself, why not me? Mm. Why can't why can't it be me? Mm. Not looking at them going, oh, those dudes are fucking better than I. Fuck those I'll guys. Fuck those fools. Yeah, that's right. Let me in there. Let mm -hmm. me in there. Why not me? That's Everybody's right. asking why. All the fucking Latinos, why? Hey, go yeah. move your car. Why? The fuck, I tell you, go move your fucking <laughs> car. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. Why? Go move your fucking Say car. Say we're talking time. You're not going to tell me what. Move your yeah. car. That's right. So. Yeah. I was I was jaded like that, too, in the beginning because I went to the Laugh Factory, the yeah. comedy store, and I saw the politicking and the kissing ass, and that wasn't me. I was like, I didn't grow up like that, so it was hard for me to work there. Yeah. So I just said, you know what? Fuck, I took a step back. And I and I went to those little Mexican rooms, you know, little fucking bar gigs, a little you, private gig. I learned how to grind it out on my own. It's, it's, it's you know, like the the real yeah. version of myself, not like this what remember, catering to what they want. You remember know? Rocky and Mr. T? Mr. T was in there, fucking smile like culo in there, yeah, down jumping like rope in the little room. Yeah. That's what that's that's yeah. how you get better. You get better when you go to a place where nobody's really seeing you, mm -hmm. like a gym. It's all it's kind of like the gym, and you go to the gym. And when you can go to those places and, and do stand up and, right and not ever be like, right now, dude, like, yeah. you're next. They both, what? Fuck it. <laughs> that's the thing. Is that's, what he's saying is so true because people don't know that. That's what makes a real comic. And you can tell who a real comic is because when you go through all that, all that freaking those gigs, and you got to fight through the fucking Dodger game on, and you got to get their attention, yeah. and you got to, like, fight through a guy fighting right now. Like, all of yeah. that builds you as a strong comic because then when you go to the comedy store and you do go to the Laugh Factory, these other comics are n sweating with your next ah, ching That's right. Because you, you put in the fucking fear on them because you're like, yo, I'm, I'm bringing jokes, right. like real jokes. Not this my mas of like one-liners and yeah. good, good, clever comedy. Like, ah, what the fuck? I want to make you laugh. You right. can hear the fucking laugh about you know, some real shit. And, and, and when, you, when you look at something and you have to say, um, when I was doing we do shows, you're like, can, can anybody do this show? Ask yourself, can anybody tell these tell these jokes? Can yeah. anybody do if if it wasn't me, could somebody do, do this? Exactly. Yeah. 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 And when they say, yeah, it doesn't have to be you, mm -hmm. but when it has to be you, then you're on the right road. That's right. Then you play. You paid your dues. Then you're in a place where you got paisa cabrón, fucking dude with that fucking cowboy hat, big ass belt buckle. Hey, hey, hey. Sit your fucking ass, ass down. My belt buckle. <laughs> Let me see your name. Up on that. Get these, cabrón. You know, and then you just now you're just you know you, you're, and then you fucking you 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 you, you, you throw this out, mm -hmm. and then you got you got one coming in your head that you know is, is great, and you do that, and then you throw yours, and they think you made it up on the spot, and they go fucking crazy, crazy. and then you're you're. <laughs> no, he's you, right. You, it's, it's a grind. It's a grind. It's a grind. It's like it takes it takes a, a strong person to go through that. Especially after years after years, you're like, Saz, what am I doing? Everybody over here back home is like getting jobs and getting houses, and it just it hurt because you're like, fuck, <laughs> yeah. well, everybody, everybody living their lives and shit. They're still looking yeah. at me. You're still telling the mama, like, like <laughs> even, my, even my family, they're like, ¿Qué, qué pedo? Y todavía no, chinga, ya sé, get a job, mijo, get un de trabajar. Pero te de call, call that guy, come on, call that guy, he'll help you. Yeah, my uncle always like, hey, hey, tengo construction, ya, ya me hice manager, güey. Te pongo pinche para, güey. I'm like, dude. I'm doing you know, comedy, man. Let me do fucking, this. But I, it, takes, I, it takes a long while to stay focused. And, 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 and you know, uh, it depends on, like, the if you, what what eye you have, you know. Uh, uh, um, 
a detective or a police officer, you don't touch the area, you stay back. Yeah, yeah. When I bought my house in, in Toluca Lake, uh, I was working all the time, so the guys that were coming to work yeah. were didn't see me, they only saw Ann, light skin. Oh, yeah. So they, and, and I came out one day with a thing under my arm with jeans and a thing, and the, and the, and the guys, the, the, the little Mexican dude that was working there with mm -hmm. a fence, he says, hey, La señora no le gusta when we use the bathroom inside. That was my favorite. He fucked his Hey, the lady don't like it when we use the bathroom inside. And uh, I told Ann that I was la fucking laughing, man. I mean, I loved it. And Ann's like, which one was it? I said, no, 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 fuck that. I, I love it. I love yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Like, yeah, you understand it, though. Dude, it, was, it. it was an honest... Sure. It was an, It was a yeah. real thing. Those, yeah. those, are the real, those are the real things, man. Like, That's like, true, man. Our family members, like if it's your, you know, it's your dad, it's your uncle, it's your uh, partner, it's some, you know, uh, man, it was a fucking little Juanita dude, man. We used to play the Sunday baseball league. Uh, this motherfucker Porfirio, this motherfucker was about this Porfirio. big. <laughs> he fucking bring that fuck bad like this, like a fucking bad, like a like a paisa bad news bear. This yeah. motherfucker's all dark, you know. But he'd be like this, and they go, and the, and you start hearing yeah. uh, the, in the league talking about him. They right. go that fucking mother. They go that fucking dude. You know, guess what his batting average is, George? I go about three hundred. Fucking three hundred. Fucking seven hundred and fifty. Get the, the fuck, fuck out, out of here. here. Yeah, they prove go, it. He's, he's yeah. been up a hundred times. He has eighty-eight hits. Fuck okay. you. Nobody yeah. has eighty-eight hits. Yeah. He goes, yeah. and you can't strike him out. That's funny. <laughs> and you're like bullshit. That's funny. And then we play for the championship, and Ooh. then you're looking around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you go, which one is Porfirio? And you look, and you, you, your eyes go like this, and then they go down. And you're like, Say no, that's him. Fucking Mexican dude, dark skin, like almost red. Little <laughs> fucking, <laughs> red. fucking panza. You know, he's running, you know. <laughs> and you're like, fuck, get the fuck, fuck out of here. I pitched in high school, and I fucking played against some dudes from the co college. Uh, and, that, and I'm pitching, that motherfucker comes up here like this, and fucking my first pitch. <laughs> Fucking oh, in the, the fucking double. Shit. Whales on it. And I'm, I'm running up. And fucking dientes all fucked up with a fucking. With like, like, the family the back. For me, the fucking. The fucking, yeah. the fucking caramel. You know how the bitch had a fucking, yeah, like, yeah. like, all four wheels. Yeah. Fuck yeah. And, 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 and calm. So, humilde. And you're just like, fuck it. And so you got to hit off your first pitch. Yeah. Oh, humble too. Like, but, is it good? And you like that? Like, like, that was amazing. He's all shocked. Like, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. He's staying on and second base like that. But first. <laughs> that fucker comes up again, fucking running on second and third. Fuck yeah. it, start with a curveball. That motherfucker, bang! Fuck another yeah, one, fuck another yeah. fucking double. Fuck it, fuck this dude. That's true. We, and uh, yeah, Latinos, we judge a book by its cover for sure. We used to that. <laughs> How come he's not on the dodge? Nah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you hit him? Negative. Yeah. yeah. Fuck it. He, he, we hit. They won. They won. They won. No, I mean, did you hit him? Did you pitch him <laughs> inside? Uh, uh, Threw a little curve. Oh, man. But, that, but, uh, listen, man. <laughs> I'm trying to strike that motherfucker. You couldn't strike him out. Chico, imagine a match that you can't light. you still fucking hitting it. They're like, hey, man. That, that fucking wait, you were a pitcher? Or what? Yeah. You were a pitcher? I wait. You're like, you're like this fucking thing. Eh? The match that, you couldn't strike that motherfucker out. That's funny. That's hilarious. That's not I my thought he wasn't a Dodger. The fuck, he's four eleven, motherfucker. He can't be a Dodger four eleven. Had Albie Pearson, but I mean, he could. He could not. He was an incredible fucking natural fucking talent. Right. And when you see those things, you can't make it up. Like you yeah. can't tell. Like, right. Like you know. Like, you're, you're telling a story and they laugh. People laugh, 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 laugh. And you can't make it. A lot of fucking my motherfucking comedians are like, oh, you know, my girlfriend, man, she doesn't like, you know. When I smoke in bed, I, mean, I, said, I, 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 said, I told the dude, I didn't know that you had a girlfriend. No, I, I don't. I don't. I just made it up. I just fucking made it like, what the fuck? You make That's it up. That's true. That's true. You know, if, if you're making it up, then fuck her every night. They're fucking talking about <laughs> Fuck her every night. <laughs> fucking sleeping with her. Oh, boy. Yeah. That's so true. those, That's those true. are the things, man. Like, you know, you're Now, family. you hear a story, you'll know if it's, if it's coming from a real place or he's trying to cater to the audience. You're like, yeah. nah, this is coming from a real fucking place. And you know, the sooner you can see, like, you know, fucking magic. Fucking magic. dude has a rubber thumb. Like it. But, you know, it's like it's like you know, the fucking magician. He's like, you can see the trick. I, yeah. I'm a, I would fucking do a thing. He takes his fucking thumb off. It's rubber right here. He puts that scarf in there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It looks... And then he's like, makes it disappear. The fucking thumb five sizes bigger. There's you know, like that. Yeah, yeah. If you the thing about being a comedian is you can't see how the magic is. Mm. Like you have to see the magician not do the not fucking do the. The joke. You can't see. Funny. You can't see the joke coming. You got. It's got to surprise you. Yeah. Right.
Yeah, I see what you're saying. Watching you, you have that. There's that's oh, you got to watch it. Yeah, you got to watch it. Of course, that's fucking dope. Yeah, dude, that's dope. Yeah, I watched you for years, so for you to watch me is like, damn, that's that's a trip. Yeah, you know, I don't know what that you know, mob clearly that you know. Yeah, and you see guys that that saw you and in the wake of a man there they are man yeah. and you know that it's not fucking easy for them not easy for me it wasn't easy for me at all yeah and it's not easy for anybody i don't give a fuck what color you are it's not easy nah but these dudes man keep going and they keep coming up and they keep going and they're all different yeah like willie barcena like i never yeah, sat with dude. willie yeah. but, you know <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he gets down he gets and down. what i and what i didn't know about him is that He's more like a, he would have been a fucking great professor, man. Like, professor. Yeah, yeah. He's like that one-liner king, right? He just like yeah. comes in and just, he's sharp. Yeah, but when I when I first started, it was like trying to find my voice. That's the thing yeah. about Latino. You're, you're struggling the first couple, five years trying to figure out who you yeah. are. I was trying to be this white comic, yeah. and it's just fucking no, writer shirts with, you, with, you, with you, a little hoodie. You would, you little, would, you would. Of course. Yeah. You're trying to, you know, trying to like. Hey, what kind of shoes would you, like, would you have? The, the, the vans, with the vans, the tight vans, and the hoodie I, I, with the I, little I, string I, and come right on it. I had a, I had a journal, need, need, need nothing in it. Let me be real. I had nothing in it. Just, still, like, just check to feel like, I saw you white boys fucking looking at him, and I was like, oh, yeah, me too. I got to go over my notes. Look at, no, mommy. Just to feel like. A fucking journal with nothing in it. Hey, I got to read my fucking notes. <laughs> and then they just you know what it, 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 I go back to like prior and you and and I just like the stories because the thing about what I saw you and um and not just because I'm on here but like when I saw why you're crying I saw my life mm -hmm. and I was like damn and, and you took me out of in the living room with my parents yeah I saw somebody yeah. going through what I complained about what I didn't like and mm -hmm. you made it funny the manguera bit yeah. with the tasting the same man that had me that. dying I didn't I didn't think we I had met somebody who lived the life I lived. Right. So when you came up, or when, when that came out, it changed everything. Mm -hmm. Everything to be like, oh, you know what? I got to be true to myself. So yeah. what you did was you opened doors for people like me to say my life. Yeah. Because I'm you happy. made it universal. And that to me was like, man, I'm always going to be grateful to your show. Cause I'm happy, man. That, that, that Why You Crying changed everything for me. Yeah. I was like, my whole like blueprint of what I thought comedy was. It's like, nah, it's not... Trying yeah. to cater, being true to who you That's are, right. and tell your own true stories because no one could take that away. That's right. Like yours, yours, no one can take that. And away. And you know when they and when they tell you that they don't get it because you're not, they're not Latinos. It's bullshit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because yeah, when nobody knew me, and I was talking about not going to the doctor or drinking Seven Up or taking the ice from inside the freezer and, and making a fucking snow cone out of sure, whatever sure. you know root beer or uh, you know the the ice tastes like fish. Or yeah, all yeah, the, yeah, all the thing, you know. You see or, that shit right there? Or, or, he lived that. Like or, that's, or you, you can't make that up. Or like my grandmother said, if you if you didn't drink a Pepsi, she would put a new uh, a fucking towel in there, and she goes, "You're not drinking another one until you finish that one." It fucking tastes like black olive juice. <laughs> <laughs> all the carbonation was gone. <laughs> hey, no, no, don't let him open it. Bobby, I think you have still have one in the refrigerator, and it's uh, with a yeah. fucking little papelito to keep the carbonation in. <laughs> like this is some fucking bullshit. Don't let him open it. And so um, funny though. it's all of those things that when somebody can, you know, paint the picture for you yeah. and then, you, you know, you, you start to be able to to uh, to see the things that even if they even if they hurt. Yeah. That's when you know they're on the on your when they fucking when they hurt, when they, yeah. you know, when they hurt you and you can still make uh, people laugh. Yeah, I think I think uh, I don't know if it's just Latino, but when we talk about like we have stories about like spanking stories that makes us laugh, man. Yeah, like yeah. if you know, like, the other day they grabbed me and they hit my brother, and it's like it was a fucked up situation, yeah. but fuck, is it funny? You yeah. start dying. Yeah. You're like, Hola. dude, he grabbed my mom, grabbed him, and he fell, he kicked him again, and like, we're yeah. dying. Why people? Oh my god, that's trauma. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, hey, is he okay? Is God? No, 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 he's not. That's the funniest yeah. part. <laughs> He yeah. still walks on Twinkle and shit. Like, we love that shit. <laughs> the, 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 <laughs> real shit. We, <laughs> we live next door to a guy, and he goes, he goes, we got to get out of here. I go, how come? He goes, ah, this fucking dude drinks next door. And then he comes out, 
and uh, the, uh, the, the, the the son is chasing the dad with a belt. With the belt. <laughs> and they hit him uh, uh, right across the back. He's like this. He's like, Jared! <laughs> Yama la policia, Jerry! And the fucking son is <laughs> fucking hitting his dad. <laughs> oh, and I said, hey, and he goes, Jerry! Jerry! Yama la policia! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking the marcas straps, are fucking and, they're, and they're coming up. <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, yeah. fucking Jerry, call the police. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they fucking fight every day, man. <laughs> fucking let's go. And you're fucking driving away. You look at that back. Jerry! Hey. And fucking, and he, I said, no, no, no. He goes, no, nah, fuck it, man. <laughs> they fight every day. Like, I said, Jerry, oh, fuck, dude. call the police. Not you, too. <laughs> fucking Jerry, man. Fucking, and they... Every day, like a cuckoo clock, 10, 15, Jerry! Come on, policia, fuck it! And the dad's chasing, the, the son's chasing the fucking kick in the dad's ass. Give it a fuck up, yeah. You're fucking his mind, they fucking that's live together. True, you know, true. check comes, ay, papa, hey, <laughs> let's go catch your check, fuck you, motherfucker. <laughs> but you know, those are the uh, things that, if it was like anybody, like you think about dudes like, uh, uh, you know, when they would be talking about the fucking airplanes, you know, you know yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! Like the yeah. stirrers came, and the like, one liner, like, <laughs> fool. I'm like, and I'm gonna be a laugh actor, like, just like how and why, bored, and I'm just like, I, maybe it's not my style, but I like truth. Yeah. I like real mm -hmm. plays. I like comedy. Okay, I, I could, I could, I live that, so yeah. I understand that, you know. But that, that's not, and you I, know, maybe it's, it's just not for me. And I don't when, know. and when you got a, when you got your own rhythm, yeah, you can make, you can make your own. You know what? What is fucking Mayweather fights like sideways? Yeah, right? yeah, the, yeah, one of the, style. Only, one yeah, the yeah. only dudes that fight sideways. Mm -hmm. See, and you see like that works. You know, mm -hmm. um, I saw. I, saw I, mean, I mean, I knew everybody. Yeah, I know it's crazy. And seen everybody, and you know, I saw George Carlin in the Pasadena Playhouse. Just amazing, man. That's crazy. Fucking amazing, man. Yeah, like, but you were around the greatest. Like, yeah. dude, the fact that I was here Rodney the other film. podcast, it, you were friends with Richard, like Richard yeah. Pryor, like. The fact that you even got to like meet him was it's just amazing to me. Man, dude. That must have been like fucking Richard Pryor. Pinchy Richard Pryor. Have you seen his I've seen his shit now. I show my brother and he's still dying. The Long Beach one is amazing. That's the that's They're the just one. we just we sat there watching an infomercial last night, the wife and myself, for a hundred bucks, all of Richard Pryor's history. You know, if you want it on Man, Richard, whatever it's it's on D V D. Well, a lot of people don't even have D V D players anymore. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. all shit. What kind what, of show? What, Imagine what, that shit. Yeah. And now, for a limited time, time, magazine, only, yeah. for time magazine presents yeah. the that, best of George Gobel. Yeah. I bet, I I bet you thought these, these classics were gone forever. You know? No, they're not. Uh, you know? But, but, but Richard Pryor, every one of them, every one of the ones that he showed, old stuff, new stuff, killed. it was it was killed. Uh, What's your favorite uh, Richard uh, bit? You know what? I, favorite I, joke. But you know what? The, what is coming out about Richard Pryor, which is, oh, which yeah. is, which is true, is that the motherfucker had like debilitating stage fright. Really? Debilitating stage fright. Wow. And it's just coming out. Like we had the, the same manager and whenever he was gonna do any show, but he did show in San Francisco, I think uh, either something I said or one of those. And in the afternoon, he would say, motherfucker, I can't do the show, it's three o'clock. Richard, you gotta do the show. Motherfucker, I'm telling you, I can't. can't I can't do it, motherfucker. I, 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 let, that, uh, we'll do it tomorrow. It's like, no, no, no. So now you got to stay from three till nine with him, so that you get him to do the show because he doesn't want to. What? He's scared. That's crazy. nervous, and he's like, I, I, stage fright. And then one thing where he starts out, I hope I'm funny. He does that. Mm -hmm. and he says, and this guy is like, yeah, motherfucker. And somebody heckled him, and it clicked on, and then he became Richard Pryor. Wow. But it, 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 in the beginning of that album, he says, I hope I'm funny. And he says, yeah, motherfucker, you better be funny. Better be funny. And, so, oh. and, and he, he needed mm. an adversary a moment. That. Like like the thing about Michael Jordan that that guy said, mm. hey, man, nice nice game, Mike. Mm. And and he, then he scorched the dude, but <laughs> yeah. he, it was it was yeah. made up in his head. Like he needed it to. Oh, you need that little spark to, to just go yeah. in. Yeah, you go in the zone. Yeah. Would you get nervous? I used to get nervous, yeah. I, I get nervous. Fuck, man. I still get nervous, like, but when I'm on, I'm on. Like, when I'm on stage and I grab the mic, it's like, it's yeah. like a fight. Once you get hit, like, all right, I know the strength, yeah. I know the feeling, all right, cool. But I, I do get, I'm not gonna, I do get nervous. I'm, well, do, I'm how, in my head. How, how was your, let's say, how did the, how did the chorro or what were you doing? The chorro, the chorro yeah. yeah, the sweat. No, I sweat. Hey, listen, I, I, I drip. I, I, IBS isn't that, yeah. funny, but, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. but, but chorro yeah. is. Chorro, chorro is. Definitely. You have I mean, IBS, but fuck it, but you got hey, fucking fuck chorro. It. <laughs> and, and, I mean, it, passed, and, and uh, it happened to me in, in Ontario Improv. <laughs> 
the, the wings. Don't get the wings. The comments. Don't get the wings. Fuck that, dude. Are nervios are and people wings. The fuck out ner- nerves that fucking nerves and wings. wings. Chingaway. That shit fucking started. Drit and I'm like, I got on. <laughs> and I have that joke where I do a little dance move and I'm like, oh, it's happening like right now. Ah, yeah, like, oh, so I'm waiting for that fucking light. I never got on so Damn, fast. It's it's light. I'm out. Man. That's it. I didn't even say my name. I was like, good night. And, and, how, and how does it? Uh, how does it? How does it affect you? Does it matter to the show or, or it has to be a big show? Or? You know what? It's every show. Every show because like. I don't know what it is, but I go in it. I'm in it. I'm not giving you like a yeah. half-ass routine. Yeah. I'm, I'm giving you my moment. I'm in me as a child, me as a, like a right. kid. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So I get lost, and I'm in it, and I have to connect with you, yeah. the audience. Yeah. And if I'm not connecting, it, that's the fear. It's like, are we connected today? Like, right. I don't know. I just... When but I perform, I want I want to give you everything. But I that's like being an act. That's like being an actor too. Like yeah, you know, yeah. comedians that, that they, they would say, and I, I I think it's true that that. Yeah. Comedians can't act, yeah, yeah. but they're doing an act. But it, an, an actor, you know, comedians are doing. You know, we're doing this. Hey, then the dude came in. We're like, hey, watch out! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude yeah, yeah. Where, thinking, you over here. Yeah. So, but then yeah. when you're acting, and you do a, you do a sick or you do a part or you do you even go out to do an audition and you have to be like this. But if they go, yeah, and then Jim came in and says, "Hey, Jim, come over, fast. and they're like, "No, no, 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 no." You gotta be. <laughs> yeah, you're. 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 Yeah. you're you have to mine be is here. not you. It's the character. You, have you gotta to be, think as a and character. Yeah. Without knowing it, you're the. You know how there's two sprinklers. One that sprays straight, and then you turn the little button, yeah. and then it goes, da, 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 and it goes back. Da, 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 da. Yeah, you have yeah. to be both. Yeah. You have yeah, to be yeah. this on stage, and then when you audition, you have to be another fucking person. Man. That's true. You have to be another person. That's true. That's why when I saw the "Why You Crying," you said at the. Uh, you said I didn't look at any notes. This is how I'm just ready. And I was like, you see, that's because ah, I know, man. you're I know. in it. And you can tell when you see it, you're fucking in it. And I'm like, oh, yeah. this was like not even here with us. He's in this fucking yeah. world. It's true. And you're yeah, and we're true. we're seeing your childhood and it's like full like yeah. that to me was it's crazy true. to watch. Yeah? It's true, yeah. 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 And, and uh, um I watched them all, dude. I watched them. And back Sandra to Bullock was there, like we were we had already done the show mm-hmm. and she was and I said, oh, Can yeah. I bring you out? And she's like, Don't oh. bring me out. Don't bring me out. <laughs> And I wanted to, but I'm glad I didn't because, you know, she was like, no, don't breathe. This is about you. And yes. also, you have to be able to see, you have to be able to see it. You know, if you're, a, you have to have instincts of good instincts of, of whatever, of this, of the thing. But as a comedian, man, you can't just think about yourself as a comedian. You have to be able to think, I want to do this and I want to do that. And I want to do a special and I want to do a special in. Texas, and I want to do a special in my hometown. Right, and I right. want to do a special there. Anything that's out of the the, the norm of your comfort, like I okay. did my specials, fucking live, oh, fucking yeah. live, man. Yeah, the one in uh, it was in uh, Texas, uh, right? Oh, uh, fucking eighty five, fucking. I remember you were fucking, you, you stumbled, and you were like, I'm fucking nervous. Uh, this yeah. Yeah. shit yeah. is live, dude. Live, <laughs> Fuck, I remember that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Live, in so, San Antonio. So, that's crazy. so that's it's right. like. Um, Tall, dark, and Chicano. That's right. And the name, and the name, Tall, dark, and so the name, a kid that goes to, went to Irvine College, had a Chicano study class in Irvine. First of all, I told the dude, first of all, what you got to study, you got to learn in fucking <laughs> yeah. Irvine. Like, fuck in fucking it. Irvine. Bitch, you had the nail fucking Irvine. Can we ask you the question? Get the fuck out of here. Uh, and, and and the guy said to me, the guy, I remember, the, I remember the, the college kid said that the, the, his professor said that Chicano was a derogatory fucking term. Oh, and shit. I said, fuck him, that motherfucker. Yeah, that's yeah. bullshit. Chicano was like a, a, somebody that was born here, yeah. that's here. You know, I said, this is, this is how it is. Well, you come from Mexico and you get here and you're drinking beer, you take your shirt off. And when you're born here, you keep your shirt on. Yeah, so I, I saw Latinos are like a basketball player. The shirts and the skins. <laughs> the skins are from Mexico and the shirts are from... I never took my fucking shirt off. And the dudes... So that, 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 guy. Guy. that guy, guy no shirt off. Yeah. nipples with hair around their nipples. They fuck with a fucking wrench working on their foot. They fucking... You got the hairy nipples. The fucking hairy pants, pants, huh? fucking pants rolled up with a fucking snake belt with a fucking snake snake belt. With no gloves and shit. Huaraches. That's what I took. Fucking huaraches. The, the tire they fucking blew out. They make sandals. <laughs> So uh, yeah, uh, that's fucking true. That's the fucking, fucking pisces uh, in Mexico uh, 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 selling carbon uh, and shit. Uh, like, hey, cuánto quiere, compadre? And it's like, that's not a real sandal. That's a fucking tire. Hey, <laughs> cut that ter- fucking swing down. There's three shoes right there. <laughs> three shoes right there. <laughs> so fucking true. I said, I told, I told the guy, I told the kid, I said, hey man, I, I'm gonna do a uh, a special, and I'm gonna try, and I'm not maybe I didn't try to put Chicano in the thing All or right. somewhere, right? And then 
they said uh, tall, dark, and handsome. Yeah. And I was like, Wait a who are we kidding? I said, tall, dark, and I said, man, tall, dark, and Chicano. <laughs> fucking title, man. Yeah, it's fucking it's a great title. The fucking That's title, fucking man. Fucking, fucking came to me, man. That's Somebody right. said yeah. tall, dark, and 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 handsome. You know, you know what I mean? Like, what I loved about you when you were fucking, when you did America's Mexican, he said, fuck that puto, Ooh. the fuck, that, fuck that puto bit. Made my, I remember to my dad prison. was like, ese vato's come, a el guy can come. Tiene huevos, bitch, George, wey, bitch, George, fuck that puto. Because you were, they always got their hands. Ese vato, que comedian, cabrón, ese wey. Because he, he, he was the voice for us. Yeah, said, and then we were, I'm from Arizona, I'm from Tucson, so we all wanted to say that to him. Fuck. And you said, our bio, fuck that. Fuck that. And then, FTP. and Phoenix, and you said it in front of, fuck, that shit was so hard. That was like, And damn. that's the first time I said FTP on that yeah. special. So, you know. You hyped everybody uh, up on that. George Bush, yeah. fuck that. Fuck that, puto. puto. Hey. My dad was like, gay hey, was Fuck that, that fuck. Hey. Arnold Schwarzenegger, <laughs> fuck that, puto. Fuck that, Eric Estrada, fuck, fuck that, Because <laughs> they're all, because like, you know, immigrant parents, they're timid. They're I'm surprised right. you didn't when Eric is yeah. right. You didn't say double fuck that pool. Oh, though. double fuck that pool. Yeah, I'm surprised. But you know, the, the Mexicans always, you know, they, if, they, if you give them a 20, they give you change for a 10. You're like, hey, you gave them a 20. No, 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 this is not our way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They okay. fucking steal $10. Bien, and, 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 I come here all the yeah. time. But when I work like, in the construction with my uncle, they, they shorted him a little bit. He's like, nah, if I ching out. No, and I'm, I'm gonna tell him. He's like, no, 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 They're gonna fire me. They're gonna fire you. You deserve your extra twenty. No, 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 no. I told your tools. Relax. Yeah, yeah. fucking. Yeah, yeah, and I'm over here telling him he's apologizing for me. And sorry, this guy he don't know. He's stupid. No, he don't know. It's okay. It's okay. The guy's like, no, nah, dude, here's your twenty. Like, yeah. So, 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 uh, yeah. It's not a big deal. It's not a big, big deal. Yeah, it's not a big deal. What the fuck? Yeah, so. Yeah. so yeah. HB would always come and see me like the week before yeah, yeah. that they would approve the stuff. So I said, fuck that puto. puto yeah. So then Tuesday, I call HBO and talk to the lady Nancy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Geller, what the fuck is that there, man? <laughs> and they said, well, uh, Aaron, uh, the, you know, uh, and all the people from, and I said, I said, listen, um, I, don't, I don't think I should, uh, <laughs> I don't think I should say the fuck that puto to the president. <laughs> no, I just think it's a little too much. I mean, it's right in the beginning, yeah. and I just think it's... It's a weird set of I a don't, tone. I, I don't, don't know. think I need it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. And then the fucking Nancy said to me, would Richard Pryor... Ooh. Oh. Would Richard Pryor... Damn. She called the Pryor card. That would have hyped me up. I would have been like, fuck that puto would again. Would Richard Pryor call and say, I don't want to do that? Damn. And I said, I, I got you. Thank you. You see, that would have hyped me up too. Like, Double yeah. fuck that puto. You know, <laughs> I'm gonna do a special call. Fuck that puto now, <laughs> right? So and isn't it fun, but isn't it fun, man? Like when yes, you, it's yeah. fucking, it's it, it's fucking nerve wracking, man. Yeah. But isn't it fucking fun? No, it's the best fucking feeling. And you know what it is? It's all that thing I went through as a kid, not getting the attention I needed. Oh, yeah. And it's like that center of attention is what I was looking for, and I just feel like out here I'm, I'm trying to figure it out, but up there it's like I got it. I found what it is that's feeling that yeah but outside i'm still trying to be a better me but up there it's like i don't know it's like i just feel like i have control but you know what it, and, yeah. and 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 as far as t as far as shows go like i saw um drew carey uh living i saw drew carey in his yeah. car living yeah. in his car that guy that and guy. i saw him do the tonight show you got fucking johnny carson called him over he was a fucking star the next like the next day. fucking day I bruce helford yeah. I saw Tim Allen in Indianapolis before Home Improvement, and he had a Showtime special called like More Power, and he was oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, who did that shit. <laughs> and from fucking that, yeah. A to Z, <laughs> oh, yeah. from A to Z, the fucking show was there. Yeah. And you just start to see these guys, and they had the show in them, like they were creating a show. Yeah. Yeah. And I didn't, I didn't, I was sitting in the back and said, man, I don't, I don't have that. I don't have. I'm the only child. And then I went to Caroline's in the early 90s, and Dave Becky was one of Chris Rock's managers, the three arts, Michael Rotenberg, now my manager 30 years later. And Dave Becky came to see me. Dave Becky was the manager of the improv in San Diego. And really? he came to see me just because he was in town. He was a big manager, Chris just Rock's manager. Yeah. He says, hey, afterwards, he goes, hey, man, can I give you some uh, constructive criticism? I said, yeah. He goes, <clears throat> When I see you, man, I don't know what you like. I don't know what your politics are. I don't know if you have a family. I don't know if you're married. I don't know. There's got to be somebody in your family that was funny. Like, what is it? Like, I see you. It's just kind of a lot of the same stuff. Yeah. And I was like, 
wow, man, like, oh, wow. And I remember thinking, he goes, there's got to be somebody in your family that's funny, man. Like, is yeah. it, it, it's like, yeah, you know, it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I walked back to the, and I said, my grandmother. Ooh, and, and, yeah, and, yeah, you're right. And when I started, when yeah, I started doing right. that, it was over, man. Yeah, that tough person. It uh, was over. Will definitely bring out the funny. My dad was that. Like it that. wasn't as strong, but like my dad was that where I was trying to get a fucking compliment. Wait, no, <laughs> yeah. what compliment? I would tell him I want to be an astronaut. Astronaut, you just be the biggest astronaut. <laughs> <laughs> you don't see astronauts being in the bed. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. the whole thing. It's like I can never be that. Oh, I yeah. one. Uh, I gotta be in the spelling. Spelling, spelling be. I have it. Spell this. And it's like <laughs> it's a big ass fucking word. I didn't practice that word. Man, you don't know. You don't fucking my pants up. Let's see. You know, like, dude. But. If the, but if they're not fucking hard on you, man, yeah, it's like no, it's I like been, what would have been? We would have been what? Soft? And, you, there, and there's no fucking choice either. Yeah, 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 there's no choice. Yeah, that 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 this dude Abraham's dad was a fucking borracho. He comes home and they're fighting the thing. The he goes, "You want to go to McDonald's? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get him, Abraham." He goes, "I'm your <laughs> house. I'm not taking you to McDonald's." <laughs> and fucking dude, dad, look at that fucking McDonald's. Dude, my dad, wait, the whole my dad would take me out for a fucking. I would do sports, I'm hungry, <laughs> fucking starving. My dad's yeah. like, "Hey, wait, you want a burrito, carne asada, for you?" <laughs> Con limon. I'm like, oh yes. Yeah. He would drive up to the fucking drive-through dog and just pull out because like, it was a quicker way to get out to the street. He's like, I was like, oh, we wanted to fucking. I love your mom made beans. Oh, like, we took it out on my mom, dude. My mom's like, I frijoles. No, no one can want that shit. He's like, hey, respect your mom. Come los pinches frijoles, cabron. Brutal. Like, but it's because that story yeah. is funny to us, and yeah. other people are like, that is strong. That is so terrible. Uh, how did you? How, why would he do that? What about when they would make beans and then they would get cold? The fucking and the the fucking the lard on top looking like a fucking skinny ring at NBC <laughs> at Rockefeller Center the fucking no, right fucking skinny right you didn't all see fucking what? grease right oh, there and then grease, uh, you yeah. and then you I'd go in there my grandmother would be fucking that much fucking grease, grease and she would turn the fire on and stir, stir it back into the like, yeah, like, 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 I just saw what that looked like no, wonder, look no wonder, wonder everybody fucking died young <laughs> how, yeah, how, was your, how was your grandfather when he died uh 29 yeah, <laughs> hey those were the best beans though Oh, yeah. I started talking about the fucking bacon grease and the Folgers can with the bacon grease in there, uh, and, and, uh, and on the on the on the stove they would have a you know they would have a not chock full of nuts because that was a high profile shit <laughs> Folgers and like MJB yeah, no, like, no, yeah. Yeah. you know not like the Cubans uh, Cafe mm. Bustelo and all mm. that fucking bullshit fucking hey they, I went to uh, Calle Ocho you know the the Cuban they they go no que Cafe Cubano yeah, Cafe Cubano that little fucking Alice in Wonderland cup <laughs> Alice in Wonderland the little fucking thing <laughs> oh, that oh, kind of that little fucking spoon oh that was oh, it's a fucking Mad Hatter come <laughs> <Mad Hatter. laughs> the fucking rabbit and then I fucking stir it I drink it and fucking fucking chorro we went to for the special we went to New York and I took my mom and dad and my dad's not used to being anywhere, you know? So, but we went to an Italian restaurant. That used to be anywhere. No, he didn't like to, no, you should see that guy. Fuck, I'll tell you some stories. But that fool went to an Italian restaurant, nice one. I said, like, I'm a pay, I'm a fucking. And he wanted a coffee. He's like, I want a cafe. They brought him an okay. espresso. Hey, hey, hey. And grab the guy. Before you don't touch the waiters. Yeah. Like, hey, hey, hey. Like, hey, sir, is everything okay? Like, I want coffee, cabron. I don't want this goddamn coffee. You have Folgers. You have. And the yeah. guy's like, oh, we have a, a latte. A, a latte. No, he was pushing out. <laughs> yelling at me. <laughs> Nunca me yelling. <laughs> I want to eat, cabron. Queremos, quiero comer. And they brought the portions and we're all fucking. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. portions. <laughs> I want to eat como hombre, güey. No, no. Don't ever bring me here again. <laughs> <laughs> and he's how much I paid. And he's like, for that, no. <laughs> the whole day, dude, he was talking about, look at it, 99 cent pizza. That's all I want. Y te llenas, cabrón. I'm like, dude, fucking Latino. I'm trying to show you something nice. Yeah. And he's like, no, the whole day, he's talking about, like, oh what we could have done with that 150. Like, yeah. We could have done this for 150, pero no, no millonario, Mr. Uh, HBO. Fuck it. Oh, dude, like, yo. You should have seen him the whole trip, bro. Oh, he yeah. was fucking like that. He was arguing you, with the pizza guy, too. Where did you do the, uh, the, the where was that in New York? In New York, in the Chelsea, uh, hall the wow. chelsea hall yeah that was uh it was scary because like i got there on sunday we were filming on thursday and they wanted me to do some like spots yeah i've never been in new york and i brought my two <laughs> check this one out i brought my family i brought my girlfriend my mom my dad i flew them out they're with me we land they got the camera crew oh, we're gonna hit up a spot they're following me around i'm nervous i'm like hey chill with the camera yeah. now we're gonna show you yeah. The grind and yeah. and I'm going to the first comedy club, New York Comics. They're just like, hey, what's oh. all, hey, what's going on? What's all this? And it's like, oh, he's doing a special for who? HBO. Oh, what? 
I'm going to see what's up. All right. And then they say my name. It's just your next. Everybody in the green room goes to watch me. Well, I'm sweat. I'm fucking wow. nervous. They got the, the guy in the front with the camera. Yeah. I go up, dude. My dad is watching. My girl. Everybody. HBO's there. I bombed so hard because the <laughs> wow. pressure. I yeah. couldn't. Re- yeah. I couldn't. The small stage. I tried to do my uh, act up. I'm fucking talking fast. And then do you? I knew I fucked up when the camera grew. When the camera guy was like, uh, he brought the. Uh, <laughs> 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 he just said, put it fucking, away. This and motherfucker and went like this. Oh yeah. They put it away. <laughs> we need a battery. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, we need is. a battery. It's, it's okay. Wow. It's okay. And I was like embarrassed. And then my dad, my dad getting in my head too. He's like, Hey, so are you sure you're gonna ching out? Ponte las pilas. Are you sure? Cause they bought the hotel, they're gonna make us pay. Come on, you gotta do good. Like, <laughs> <laughs> they took us out to dinner. They're gonna make me pay. Ponte las pilas, mijo. And I'm like, oh <laughs> fuck, dude. And uh, it took me two days to kind of snap out of it. And yeah. be like I'm in my head. And it's because of New York and the whole. And I thought I saw Dave Attell, and I was in my. I gotta be like them. And yeah. I'm like, nah, I'm myself. Fool. I'm myself. So. You know what? I think it's probably a good thing that that happened. Because, <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. Fuck because yeah. Uh, you'd rather have it happen there nah, than, the, than to go and kill and be like, oh, man, I got it. Yeah. And then take it for granted. Like, no, that's your work is to never me. done. I always have that in my head, too. I'm always like, when it's too good, I'm like, something bad's coming. <laughs> it's around the corner. I don't know if that's a, yeah. I don't know, yeah. but I'm always like, uh, nah, it's, it's like something bad's going to happen. Nah, I'm not, I always have that. Like, it's, and it's too a, good to be true. And, and it's mm-hmm. a fucking, like... It's never easy, Mm-mm. but <clears throat> when it's going your way, man, it's like it's like gambling, dude. When it's going your way, yeah. everything goes your way. Like it's all it's yeah. all good, and then you can hit a fucking stretch of shit where you're just like, man, fuck this, man. Like, yeah, like. But you know, when I like being an only child, and then my grand my grandparents not giving a fuck about about me, and you know. And wanting to perform, you know, and then I, I, they, were, they, were, they were going door to door with a fucking accordion to give accordion lessons. Like, accordion. Fucking yeah, accordion. <laughs> and I said, I said, I said, Grandma, I want to play the accordion. Fuck, I can't play the accordion. accordion. I, I'll be, I'll play. And so she, I got a yard you should clean. We're playing the accordion. It was about fucking 30, le- the, uh, uh, 10 lessons yeah. for like uh, $30. Oh, shit. And I went to two of the 10. <laughs> And the rest of my life, I had to listen about the fucking accordion. <laughs> a 30-year-old man, Grandma, yeah. I'm going to do Arsenio. Are you sure? You get to do the accordion? Yeah. You're going to play the fucking accordion? Oh, <laughs> oh that's right. You're going to take the fucking man. Oh, she going to let that go? <laughs> fucking yeah, she must have been a tough-ass woman, though. Fucking forever, fucking accordion. Fucking accordion. And then... And then uh, fuck, man. That's so fucking... I had yeah, a fucking... Your grandma didn't uh, like... I never met her before. Oh, she sounds so funny. <laughs> what did like... she say when you told her you wanted to be a comedian, George? <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, what did she say? I'm though? funnier than you. Take hey, 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 <laughs> my dad right there, too. Um, the night of the pilot, you know, I wasn't an actor, you know. It take a little bit longer. It took a long time. And, you know, with Bruce, you know, fucking Sandra, everybody there. Took from, like, fucking forever. Because I want to make sure you got the, the moments, you know, so to let the audience go. Grandma's there, fucking driving home at 2.30 in the morning. My grandma's just looking straight ahead. And I'm driving her, getting close to the off-ramp right there on the 5 Freeway, San Fernando Mission. I said, what I said, what you think, Grandma? <laughs> and without even looking, you want to know? <laughs> oh, <yes. laughs> I said, yeah. Uh, and, I, and I said, yeah. And she <laughs> never looked at me. She's looking straight at She goes, if I would have known it was going to take that long, I would have stayed home. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! That's, okay. That's fucking awesome. And I looked at her, and she oh, never looked at me. Uh, and I said, yeah. "Wow, man! That's wow!" Fucking... And I and I said, "Wow!" <laughs> and and uh, I told the LA, I told the New York Times that, and then uh, uh, and then the New York Times did a calendar thing on me in the front page of the calendar in the New York Times, and it said, "A life so sad." It had to be funny. <laughs> and I, and I thought, wow, man, was it that fucking that bad? Fucking... Like, And then I got in Time Magazine, and the guy wrote, George Lopez talks about his grandmother. He should yeah. thank her because that's the muse to his entertainment, yeah. is his grandmother. Yeah. And, I, and I said, um, um, what do you think of the character on the show, Grandma? You know, because she was mean. She says, you made me nice. Fucking said you made there me nice. There you go. That's a tough woman right there. Tough yeah. woman. I, I always mean, like trip out when I, when, 
a relatives like that. I was at first I was very like judgy with my dad, but then I realized how he grew up, and I'm like I was a little bit more understanding of why. He became Can you imagine, tough. man? Like, like, what was your what did your dad do when he was fucking like a young? He young was guy? fucking working at fucking. He would tell me every day. He's like, at tu, at tu edad, I already had a job. I could have had I a mean, wife. Cut I could have had kids. If he want to be a fucking comedian, comedian. Get the Dude, fuck. yeah, he, he tells me now. He's like, I should have been a comedian. I'm funnier than you. Like, <laughs> your grandma. Like, every year when when I wasn't like getting anything done, I wasn't getting paid when I first started. If I was, I'm gonna go to show you. It's, it's fácil, way. Dude, you know what he did to me? You know what he did to me? He fucking took me to Paramount Pictures. To, he says, I'm going to take you somewhere. So he took me to Pictures because he thought that I didn't have the balls to go tell him. I'm like, <laughs> he thought it was like that. I just had to go and tell him, yeah. hey. Come over here, baby. You know, Come over so here. Like, yeah. hey. And it, we walked in there, and it was a writer strike. It was during the writer strike. Yeah. It was like the, I don't know, but it was like yeah, yeah, 25 yeah. or something yep. like that. But, dude, uh, and the fucking writers were fucking marching. Yeah. The white burritos want, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Their, their fucking insurance and fucking rights. And, <laughs> and my dad's like, hey, hey, he tapped one. Like, yeah, sir, yeah, if I can. Uh, uh, he's ready. He's ready. He's like, for what? Uh, I don't, he's ready. Comedian. He's a comedian. He's funny. He's ready. He wants to oh be my ready. God. And I'm like, that is not how it works. Yeah. So process is like, no, don't te pones las pilas. You need to go tell him. Fucking hilarious. You need to, dude, I'm like, it's not that easy. He literally took me to Paramount Pictures for outside. Fuck, man. It was fucking, I couldn't believe it the people were laughing they knew what my dad was trying to do so they were like it's fine here's our car just we'll Bob, get you to act your dad asses. takes you to pro up picture hey he's what's up he's like yo here struggling llorando que hay es tough <laughs> go in there cabrón go in there and i fucking he did tell me one thing that made sense and i did do was uh i became uh at the hollywood improv i became a dishwasher to get in you know mm -hmm. oh wow yeah dude i came in as a dishwasher oh shit i didn't yeah. know that yeah yeah I, w I walked in i was with i was working with wow rita man. was the manager and uh you know i was very timid because everybody wanted stage time and oh, i saw man. how rita was very no but no, you know no. what the best how they fucking did it man like yeah. that's how they did it yeah. like back in new york you motherfuckers go were like uh you know yeah my dad he said hey don't that thing about my dad dude like he's tough and all but he was he made it. He made it here in America. Like he, he knows how to work the system. He's like, be in there, be in. If you're the help, fuck right. it. You're the help, but then show there's gonna be an opportunity. And oh, lo and wow. behold, dude, the opportunity came. They needed a comic, and I said I can go up. Wow. And they threw me up five minutes. And after that, they kept throwing me up every now and then. But I find fucking dishwasher. Like wow. my pants were wet, dude. <laughs> I'm doing the fucking jokes. Wow, That's the first time I saw Trevor beautiful. Noah. And he gave me props. He was wow, like, hey, man. good shit. Yeah. Oh, nice. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, it was, uh, you know how it is, the fucking grind, you know? I That's didn't like to talk. Though, we don't, Latinos, we don't talk. Yeah. So we keep it timid, and we're just ready for the opportunity. When it comes, you better just bring it, you know? And that's what it's been through all my career. It's been like... Just waiting for the door to crack in for me to just fucking yeah. run in there when I can. And, and what do you and what do you want to do, man? Like, are you acting? Are you want? Oh, do you want to have a show? I want to yes, I, yes. I want the show. I want the fucking. I want my life. I want the. Because I think you story. have it in your dad, right? You have it in your dad. Yeah. Are your mom and dad still married? Yeah, they're still married. They're together. My mom's the quiet. I, you know, with my dad. She complains to me about my dad, and then when I stick up for her, she's like, I didn't say that. No, no, just mentiras, cabrón. And I'm like, yeah. oh, you're fucking sticking up for you. And then my dad's like, ¿Quién dijo? Who said that? It's like, I'm like, my mom did. And then brings my mom and my mom. No, but no, you know, no. I think you should look at, you should look at your, clear. I mean, of course, I mean, fucking, fucking advice. <laughs> but you look at, no, no, I want to take But you look at your life and see how it, it applies to a TV show. Well, right now I'm working with, with, uh, I'm looking for like writers and stuff helping me like create this because you know I'm very I'm trying to write but it's like I'm go all over the place and I no, get no, all no. deep and they're yeah. like whoa you, I need the structure right. it's gonna yeah. you yeah. know like the, I'm looking for someone who's put in the time that I did with stand up yeah. for them with the writing because right. let's be honest you know the the uh, uh, it's crazy man I mean <laughs> yeah. uh, when I used to watch Drew Carey uh, yeah. and I was in the 90s I was early 90s I was living in Sherman Oaks you know and and doing the clubs and stuff and at the end they would say Created by yeah, yeah. Drew, based, uh, based uh, Drew Carey Bruce and Br and Bruce Helford, and I would tell Ann, "Where's my Bruce Helford? Like, where's the guy that's gonna <laughs> that's help so me?" Funny, dude. I'm like that and, too. I be doing and that you know who too. it is? Fucking Bruce Helford. <laughs> Bruce Helford <laughs> did the first one, and Bruce Helford. I saw him today. We did the run through the with the with the show with the daughter. Yeah. Fucking oh, Bruce Helford, man. By the way, I auditioned for that. No, I didn't get it. I wasn't paisa enough, but I, I didn't get. Oh, you get something yeah. else. <laughs> I was I'll I get wasn't you. We're enough. a moving company. They're a moving company. Those dudes were. Those were there. They were. They were good. They were but good, yeah. yeah, I'll put you on there. Like, but, you know. But I know what you're saying. Like I, I've always thought about that too. Like, but I, again, I was just like, it happens, just be man. ready. My thing is like, just be ready. Just be undeniable. Yeah. Kill it every time I go on that stage. Like let them know why. And my dad, every time I hang up the phone with him, he's always like, hey. 
Para que sepan. Let them know why. Why you su- right. why you miss birthdays? Why you miss like you know upper- being with the family? I, every mm-hmm. time I go back home, I see my dad' hair getting grayer and grayer. It's <laughs> yep. like that shit does to me something to me that when I go on stage, it's like I'm not like these guys. Oh, I'm gonna try this out. No, I gotta kill. Yep. I, I didn't come here to try. Yep. I came here to like I gotta execute. This is what you. This is what right. you need. And this is what. This is what I found, and it and it worked. The first show, they would say, because you know they always say, well, how would you describe the show, George? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I would be like, how would I describe? So I said, um, I want to prove to my wife I'm a man, <laughs> and I want to prove to my mom I'm not a boy. Yeah, that's Ooh. it. Yeah, that's the show. That's and that was it, dude. That's good. That was it. That's all you see. That's and good. it made it was fast. That's good. You know, I try to prove to my wife. And to I never had a I never had a father that I could be a father to my kids, and a, a husband to my uh, wife, and and my mom wouldn't think I was a fucking boy, and Damn. it was and everything revolved around around that fucking small description. That's true. That's fucking of awesome. like of, yeah. of that. You it know, that's us. Not just that's and us. when you that's find us. it and you can tell somebody like that, they go, oh, uh, yeah. That's interesting. The Yorona lady drawing her kids at yeah, night. Yeah, she yeah. cries. I love, I love like, like under like, great. All these managers <laughs> and executives. Oh, that's great. great. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. The fucking Yorona. They get excited lady. when they hear pain. Like, oh, that's awesome. That's, <laughs> right. that's just fucking beautiful. Oh, that's oh, beautiful. They, yeah, they more fucking, pain the better. Because the less they have to think, it. the fucking better. The yeah. better it is. Yeah, no shit. When yeah. I when I went in there with Bruce and, and Robert, the other guy, we would tell stories, you know, and I would tell them about my grandmother and I would tell them about. My grandfather and fucking this and you know the thong and the side of the oh, oh, fuck it, they tuck the fucking dress in. Don't tell her. That's my Don't tell her. If anybody fucking dude. dress tuck the back of the fucking thong and the, the I like, sideways. I, I like the face he did too. He like. Yeah. And you see how fucking proud he is. I don't want to get it dirty. Uh, um, and when we started to write all those things down, Bruce had already done fucking Drew Carey, done Roseanne, and they didn't they didn't make first time actors or comedians creators of a show because because you're giving away fucking millions of dollars yeah so they would say if it was bruce and robert then warner brothers makes more money <clears throat> so when we started to get the pilot to where i had to fire my mom and we had to do we work together at the airplane price factory oh that was a good one yeah. that uh bruce came to me and he said hey man they don't want to make you a creator of the show but and i and i didn't even know what it meant and he goes but i'm gonna go over there and i'm gonna tell them that without you there's no show yeah it's not me. It's you. Mm. Like, we're listening to your stories, and we're writing them down. But I can't, and he, that's what he said. He told Peter Rob the president, I can't write these stories. That's right. Like, George is writing the, the show. George has to be a creator, you know, because without him, we don't have a show. Yeah, what's the and show that's, called? And that's how they fucking can't say no to you. That's right. If you do a show, I oh, fucking sell ice cream in the fucking, fuck yeah, that yeah, fucking yeah, yeah, bullshit. No. You got to have where your dad is like, you open at a restaurant, <laughs> and he's like, hey. I can't for, for this. Uh, like, is, you yeah. got to start somewhere, right? That's true, yeah. man. That's why you your shit hits so somewhere. hard. Every episode you still see to this day, it's like it's so honest and real that it was undeniable. Let that. me That's tell you why. something. Yeah. But, I mean, I think I may have I told this story. I got a DUI. Did I tell you the Mrs. Lopez thing? I told the story. Oh, I, 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 I think you, I think you have, but yeah, like, the, right? yeah, like, the good ones bear repeating. <laughs> no, no, but uh, uh, shit that people would say to me, I put, I put, oh, in, the sh- I put in the show. Yeah. That things that real people said, right. I, put, I put in the show. Mm-hmm. Fuck, I had Rudy Moreno fucking in the show. Hey, you know, if you can't okay. fuck a Rudy Moreno on the show and you not get canceled, you're doing good. Thought, like, I got to see him tonight. Matter with, a fucker, Rudy. With, with his fucking little paw, <laughs> fucking bird, his bird <laughs> fucking <laughs> mittens. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, if, if you fall in fire and you can't create a fucking show out of falling in fire, <laughs> in fire. with a little fucking, I used to call him, uh, I used to call Rudy. him, uh, uh, what I used to yeah. call him, boots or mittens. Or boots mittens yeah. I was supposed to go, he's been after me to go tonight. He's doing a fucking fundraiser every week every for week. something. <laughs> no, all for him. What's that? It's like the fucking water game. He's been funneling the money back, fucking back door channels. That's funny. That's that's funny. Like, my that, that, that little kid that has a spot on his lungs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rudy's like, come lift your shirt. I got to put some yeah. marker right here on your fucking cheat It's so funny. Once I paid for the first one for I felt like I was responsible. Hey, don't don't start drinking, dog. I already paid. Like, I invested in shit. Like, hey, don't be smoking or drinking, dog. Yeah. Put money in. <laughs> I'm not doing another one. Should we have no. another beer? That's okay. Yeah, I'm fucking down. Yeah. 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 These are good. Yeah. Yeah. 
Hey, I was supposed to go. He wanted me to go. To, he wanted me to go. I know, but at what point did Rudy become like the, the fucking uh, uh, Jerry Lewis of fundraisers? Eh? Fundraiser, yeah. Uh, where's all that money going? I have no idea. Come on. I mean, uh, I mean you know, I don't know. Know. but where, 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 where I'm, I'm my right though, but I mean, no, let's see what you say. At the beginning, you're like, okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, and they started to use pictures of viejas or a fucking hipless <laughs> fucking coming out, and you're like, and, and when he, and it shows up in your email, you're like, hey, what the fuck what is, the this? Fuck is, this? is she, this? Is she fucking blowing everybody to yeah. that? Like, oh, she, uh, uh, model model will not be well, at the uh, at, at the uh, event. But yeah, about this, but, like, like putting shrimp on a fucking hook. Yeah, but you're fucking trying to... He wanted me to go to the show tonight. I was supposed to leave San Diego tonight. Oh no way! But okay. I was but I was too. Uh, the day is drawn on. It's been a busy day, and then oh, this there, yes, this sir. came on Thursday the show. So now I've decided I'm too fucking tired. I'll go to the... I'll the fucking Gilly. This what the man... I'll go to Gilly. San Diego. Gilly. What the was sitting on the fucking porch on Golden Pond over there, yeah? With the <laughs> podcast. Yeah, <laughs> what the fuck? Huh? And demand. And like, demand. Like, anyway. Yeah, you know, you the, uh, the I used to call that. I saw hey, Richard. Richard, Richard, you know... George, yeah. you came for one episode and stayed. He's like, hey, 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 like this week I've had calls from Texas A&M and ASU there you go. to go back there and uh, do some stuff. from. But the most exciting thing I'm doing, uh, the, the guy that was going to bring in here, the guy that called me up and right. said, I heard your name on, on the radio, George Lopez says, yeah, call in. <laughs> so I called in. Yeah. His son has a uh, limousine company, a service down in Temecula. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he services San Diego and everything. They're talking about doing a... Uh, Take me out on a little wine Ay, tour, hey, but careful. for another one, <laughs> careful, hey, yeah. so they starve when they <laughs> my nose away. You know, you can spend the night, Gil, and we can just talk about <laughs> things. <laughs> That's how they start. Right? Now, I, now, I, now, I, I've done those shows, and I'm like, nah, I'm good. Now, now, now. Chin -chin, you know, <laughs> you'll like, be bleeding for your fucking Gil, Your physique is or short. I'm 72 years old. That shit doesn't yeah. hit to me now. No, no, no. Put some fucking portable in your fucking. Yeah, the portable, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you could be facing so, it now. Hey, where am I at? Hey, you're in a nice place now. Doing a country tour. Wine country now. It's doing a wine out. tour. Yeah. With Gil and the bus with people. What? And Are talk about the stalker. Uh, <laughs> coming up on Halloween on a, wine, way, on a wine tour and, and, and to make it just for the for the fun of it. I'm going to use him because I got five couples that are going to go on a wine tour, but for him to go out get some people up there and just right. talk about it. Talk fucking about the Gil's a Latino national treasure. He that is that a, fucking documentary. Oh Neta, when I saw that he was I was like, damn, that's what's up. I was fucking honestly proud that I'm like, that's what's up, dude. Like he the way he explained his life Everything is what upbringing. About, we all related. We what about like when rooted. it starts with the, with the little PSA, that I'm like a little tranny, like he's trying to be a lady, yeah, but, but he has a mustache. <laughs> the little mustache. Like in the hair, yeah, fucking my my, my wife asked me if I was if I had helium in me that day. That, that's helium, what I said. Yeah, that, yeah. Like you were like maybe po like you I wanted to be a, a lady, I it was a but different you were like, I, I, I know, in the beginning, like, I like, I thought it was cheap. And then your shirt got wet right in the middle of fucking lactating. And I'm like, what happened? You spit on the hand. We do it again, Gil. You're lactating. Fuck. Good. Like, I, 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 I again? <laughs> when I get there, I start lactating. Oh, my God. Ah, no, you cover your face. Ah, 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 you cover your face like, ah, 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 And how did you catch it last time? We, we saw that. We I saw, was... Uh, uh, I grabbed him. Uh, <laughs> I'll give help. Uh, I, I, if I had nails, I would have scratched him. Uh, uh, like, uh, I'll uh, 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 fucking hide. Uh, like, get up. Like, yeah. With the number of the bottom. <laughs> fucking six <laughs> numbers. Six six numbers. Say, a phone number has seven numbers. Uh, 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 six. Six. You guys talk shit now. You were shitting in your pants back then. Oh, oh, fuck yeah. 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 When I saw the dog, I was like, no, my, I was never. The fact that your family laughed at Shit, I was like, damn, that's some real shit. Why <laughs> a high school bully hey, I was running away from? Well, hey, I, I still tell the family. I didn't even go to the fucking basketball course because that motherfucker. No? Hey, I still that's tell my wife hilarious. we got the wrong guy just to get her to move out one <laughs> no for a week, for for a week at a time. Well, I, I, I ran into my high school bully at a fucking at a Walmart. I never gone to that Walmart in since. <laughs> this is where he's shot. Like, fuck, I'm at Walmart. No, I'm good. I just tell Pinchy that fool right there. He wants. <laughs> that's fucking hilarious, dude. Yeah. That's fucking hilarious, Poco man. No. I'm telling you, dog. You know what, man? 
yeah. as long as I've been around, that's fucking brilliant right there. Because well, I lived that bully shit. fucking goes to fuck away. Right. Like, you're like, hey, okay, I'm, let I'm, come I'm, this fucking no, I'm out. I'm, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> hey, that. I've been, I haven't been to Walmart since. Yeah. <laughs> He's in Arizona. I'm in fucking California. Let's go to like, Target. Fuck. I'm Target. I'm in fucking Walmart right there. Oh, my God, man. It's fuck, true. Dude, that's fucking hilarious. You weren't lactating, but you had calzones. I'll come up. 100%. Yeah. That's fucking right. I love that shit. Yeah, yeah, Arizona. That's right. Tucson. Tucson, Arizona. Gary Shanley. Yeah, that's right. I fucking Took just thought, I, when I saw his dog, I was like, "Get the fuck out of here!" Yeah. yeah, I thought I was the only one. I was gonna rep it. I'm like, "Oh no, I mean, I know <laughs> fucking Gary Shanley." Gary was a trip, man. I knew Gary a lot. I met Gary in 1979. That's crazy. Wow. And he drove a. He rode. I think he was riding on Sanford and Son or shows, and he had a 280Z, a Datsun 280Z. Nice. And and he'd pull in and park right there on Westwood <laughs> Boulevard, the comedy store on Westwood. Me and Ernie would be over there, and he had that fucking purple windbreaker. And he put it on. Mm. It was all fucking wrinkled from that. Yeah, and he had yeah, that yeah. shoulder bag with the, like a, as a rider. And he would say, uh, "How does how does my hair look, George?" And I said, "Looks great." <laughs> and, he, and he would say, "Say swear to God." And I would say, "Swear to God." I swear and, to he God. Go, how does, and he would go, "How does my ass look?" And I said, "Looks even good. better." He'd, he'd, go, better. he'd go, "Say swear to God." Like he used to say, "Say swear <laughs> to God." That's fucking His hair never looked good. <laughs> yeah, he was all nervous like, here. He's like, yeah. Yeah. "You know what's yeah. funny about those fucking comics? I trip out when I see their documentaries and like how they didn't. They just got the job. They're like, I wrote." And I, I don't yeah. know what I was doing. I just thought, I'm like, what the fuck? I've been trying my hardest out here, and I don't get shit, dog. Fuck it. These fools are like, uh, like a, a, a bunch of dogs. Like all those. Hey, so in 2005, uh, uh, I hadn't uh, seen uh, Gary. I hadn't seen him in forever. Yeah. But 2005, we're all hosting the Emmys. Me, Conan O'Brien, uh, Ray Romano, Brad Garrett, Gary Shandling, uh, all a bunch of guys. Wanda Sykes, everybody. Hey, that one's like, uh, uh, yeah, sour uh, man. Yeah. Está prudido, prudido. Weddles don't check. Oh, yeah, right. you, did, yeah, was, you, did, you didn't give him the sour one, did you? Yeah, you a powder we don't have another one. We don't have another Heads one. That's no, last cold one. No, you go. Yeah. I'll take. I'll, I'll kill it. It's, it's a, 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 a hibiscus. Jamaica, no? Jamaica. Is that Jamaica? Yeah. It don't fucking taste like Jamaica. It tastes like fucking patas, wey. It's the first time I went down on the girl. It's tart. It's my first fucking kickback game. I got night I got home from work. Yeah, it's, okay. it's gonna give you a bass ass voice. <laughs> <laughs> well, God damn it. <laughs> 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 so you get that <laughs> bass in your voice. <laughs> <laughs> That's another one. Tart and uh, uh, I threw an IPA in the freezer though. No, no, so it's all good. Yeah, uh, yeah. So Gary Shannon, you know, I see him, man. And he's like, hey, you know, after so many years, I'm fucking standing backstage. And he goes, so how are you handling that, man, having your own show and you're fucking this and all that? I said, it's great. And he looked at me and he goes, motherfucker, <laughs> walked off. <laughs> like, <laughs> he, he was like, like son of a bitch. Son of a He wanted bitch. me to say, like, I it's fucking hate you. It's tearing me apart. Aren't you scared every nah, day? Man, you know? And he's like, fun, motherfucker. <laughs> Motherfucker. Let me tell you, man. I, like that, I wrote, I wrote those the jokes there for the for my. I gave away the first Emmy to uh, reality show. Oh, really? And I wrote all this shit like uh, extreme makeover in an hour. You're 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 beautiful. I said, does it? Isn't that what a twelve pack does? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Fuck all that shit, man. I love it. Yeah. And. Um, Anne was like, you know, fucking Anne's like, oh my, you're not gonna tell these jokes, are <laughs> you? Yeah, dude. That's okay. And I said, you know what? Give me the papers back. Go, go over there. That's <laughs> yeah, why you don't yeah. let anybody see your shit, man. Mm -hmm. Day yeah, before, yeah. I've been yes, working man. on them upstairs. Yeah. And I think I talked to. So I'm sitting there, all the Sopranos, Will and Grace, everybody, fucking every, all Ray Burrell, Raymond, they're all there. Mm -hmm. And they come and get me. And she gets up, and I said, no, no, I'm going. You stay here. Mm -hmm. What? I'm going backstage with you. No, no. I said to her. You burned your backstage pass yesterday. Do <laughs> 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 you want somebody with you that fucking said, like, you're, you're not going to fucking yeah, yeah, tell that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, nah, and, nah, get out of here. Yeah. And, and I'm fucking on the side of the stage, and they're going to the commercial. It's live. Yeah. And I go to the commercial, and I fucking lean around the corner, and I see <laughs> with Gandolfini and fucking Will and Grace. And, right, and, and in the middle of it, in the first row, is Robin Williams. <sighs> and That's he looks at me, and he goes like this. Ooh, there you go. So it is. And I said, fucking. That's you don't need anybody else. That's all the hype you need, yeah. That Boras right there. A fucking okay. comedian. That's not right. an actor. Yes. And that was it, man. Yes, comedian. And that was it. And I fucking nailed it, man. He was so happy, man. Like I did Scarface. I, I was going to say that. The Pacino one? Mel, those dudes that were in there. Killed that fucking shit. 
Yeah, I love Man. that one. Oh, okay, that, that's that, that, that the Rosie O'Donnell. They're like, oh, okay, first you get the money, then you get the pussy, and the pa. You know who said that first? Rosie, Rosie O'Donnell. O'Donnell. Yeah. <laughs> the timing was fucking. Fuck, epic. man. And I went out, and and you know what, man? Like Al Pacino said, you know, they call me. They go, Al Pacino wants you to do Scarface for his AFI. I said, no. What? I said, fucking no. Remember in Rocky where he goes, hey, Rocky, how would you like to fight for the world championship uh, of the war? How many would you make world to And he goes, no. Uh, no. I thought I was going to be a sparring partner. Like, he said no. Wow. In a movie. Why'd you say no? He was afraid. No, you. Why'd you say no? Because I was afraid. <laughs> I know, my man. You were afraid. Yeah, fuck yeah, man. Because so I, I, I didn't have, have a I little didn't, bit of fear. I didn't have that. Uh, I was going to just go out there. And he goes, Al wants you to do Scarface stuff for us. I said, no. No. Like, fuck no, I'm wow. not gonna do it. And he goes, "Well, you want me to tell him no?" And I said, "I said, uh, call me back in half an hour." <laughs> that's how we do it. Walking around upstairs, and I was yeah. just like, hey, "What do you?" Th-? I said, <laughs> "And I said the only way to do it is to do it as Tony Montana." Yeah. So yeah. fucking and again, like I'm the day of. No. I go down and I get some flour and I put it in the bag. She goes, "What are you doing?" I go at the end. I'm gonna put my face in the powder. I'm gonna look up and I'm gonna have face. That's cheap. That's a cheap laugh. Get <laughs> <laughs> your fucking ass out! Of here. <laughs> and I did it. Get the fuck out! And of I here. did it. It's the fucking best <laughs> ending, fucking Dude, ever. That was epic. That was it's a, a cheap laugh. That's a cheap it's laugh. It's the fucking best. Oh I put my, my face in there, man. Even Al Pacino was like, "You need it, fucking man." Dude, Dude, that was great. I watched that shit over and over. That shit was fucking hilarious. You know, you know, I love to laugh. A good joke makes me laugh. Yeah. I worked on the movie Heat with, with Al. Oh, and so were you in the movie? No, what? Well, I, I, I made the cutting room. The big boy. I made the cutting room floor. I made the cutting room floor. <laughs> you knew that was coming. I was a technical <laughs> advisor <laughs> on the movie. <laughs> 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 I made the cutting room floor. I was consulting, advising on the yeah. movie. And oh, so we, right. we, but did you have a part in it or not? No. Uh, he was saying no. what's real and what's not, right? Like, give me an yeah. example. Give me that, give me, let, let's give the people at home. Yeah. Let's give a fuck at home with that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, yeah. What, give, let's, people at home. Uh, like, home. Hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> give an example of what a consultant does. Yeah. It advises. They, they watch advises. me do interviews with other actors. I was supposed to be the cop so I could learn what it a real right. detective mm-hmm. would be like, you know, hey, cops wouldn't do this, cops right. wouldn't do that. Yeah. So that, that yeah. that's what I'm doing on the set. Well, they wanted to see how True. cops interacted. So oh. we went out to a place in Santa Monica, a nice restaurant. Do you remember which one it was? No, no. I just know they had a private room in the back. We're back there eating. And Free food, I'll go. They wanted to see how we inter- interacted. How actors and, 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 and law. And how yeah. cops talk to each yeah. other and what they do. Ah, got you. And so Damn, we were that. telling jokes. Mm. And I remember Michael T. told a joke. It, it was fucking awesome. <laughs> you know, and it, was, it was a great fucking joke. And then Al Pacino wanted to get involved, and he told a joke. And the joke, the, I'm hit? sorry. Did Fuck hit? no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, but the guy that I was with from Homicide, he laughed. He laughed his ass off. He was, ended with a woo So we, we, got, yeah, the car, yeah, we was... got in the car on the way home. I said, hey, did you get that fucking joke? Because I didn't think it was funny. He says, neither did I. I said, you laugh your ass. He says, that was a courtesy laugh for, <laughs> yeah, for Al. Yeah. That was like, wow. yeah, that's I a said, well, laugh. fuck it. So the next day we're out there, we're talking. And I and Al's gonna give it another try. I say before you do, let me tell you that joke you tried last night. It didn't fucking go. He left us a courtesy. You told him, oh yeah. <laughs> uh, no fuck fuck yeah. I mean, Al like a hot girl at a fucking club. Al, Al, Al was a great. Oh, Al was hugging out. me. He's a great guy. <laughs> nice guy. I mean, we're just bullshitting. Want to see what cops like? Hey, that was that was the truth. Uh, Michael T. He says uh, when they're on the set for uh, uh, Forrest Gump. Yeah, he yeah. says, we're filming it out in Georgia. He says, we break for the night. We're done. He says, I can see one of the extras out there is having trouble with his car. He says, and, and everybody's leaving, and I felt bad. I left him on the side, got out. I said, hey, you need a ride? You're having trouble with your car? The guy said, yeah. He said, would you give me a ride in time? He said, sure. Come on. Get, let's go. He says, so the guy starts for my car. He says, ah, oh, wait a minute. I forgot something. He went and he goes and gets a bag that was inside his car, comes and he gets inside my car. We're driving him. Down the road. Oh, and he shit. says, as we're driving down the road, I notice that the guy keep looking inside that bag and then close it back up. And just for conversation, I finally said, hey, you must have something really important in that bag. What do yeah. you got in the bag? And he says, none of your business, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> so nah, yeah. Michael says, I slammed on my fucking wow. brakes. He says, get the fuck out. And as yeah. soon as he stepped out of the car, before he could do anything, I fucking punched it and I left. And gone. I kept the bag. He says, I never saw that motherfucker again. And I said, really? I said, what was in the bag? He said, none of your business, motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> of course. Of course. 
Oh, I'll give that for Preston. Ah! Not even gonna hit him with that shit. That's the joke. Out. Yeah, that's yeah, what of he, course. That's what he's <laughs> on. Oh, I went nuts. <laughs> Great you had me coming. Hook, he line, and sinker. Uh, yeah. Hook, line, and sinker. Pull me in. Yeah. And, what was? It? None of your business, motherfucker. <laughs> Same thing the guy had allegedly had told him. Oh, yeah, wow, that's, that's fucking, fucking great. It, oh, it man. was funny as fucking joke. They were the dude, the the Ron Pearson that does the warm ups. I make him do this joke. He goes, "A guy's passing by." A mental hospital, and he hears 13, 13, 13. And there's a little hole in the wall. He looks in there, the fucking pokes him in the eye, and you hear 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. That's a great what warm up. Amazing. That's a great warm up guy you have. Yeah. That, yeah. Remember, he told yeah. That? Oh, remember yeah. I, told, yeah. I made him tell it? I remember He's that. a fucking great fucking, warm up I guy. I love that fucking joke, he, man. Ron Pearson. Oh, okay, okay. Do hey, but doing you know what? Yeah. Like like guys yeah. like us that talk yeah. about family. Yeah. We can't do fucking audience warm up. We can. No, I can. I only have one. Yeah, to be able to talk about fucking yeah, going yeah, yeah. down the street for a, a fucking hour. <laughs> a fucking oh, bullshit. Man, can juggle. It's a certain skill for certain people, bro. Like that shit is not for me. It's the fucking hardest yeah. thing to do. That's the one I do corporate gigs. They're like, where well, you gotta, you know, like, I got this. Like, you want this or not? No, man. I'm not gonna cater to your fucking company. Hey, fucking, this is what I got. Like, it's true. It's that guy wrong way, you know? <laughs> that guy is a fucking amazing juggle. He's, and I he's amazing. Wow. He's amazing. Wow. wow. Somebody said to me that one of the, the, the executives said, you know, I had a friend there. He was very rude to her. I said, listen, this motherfucker is the best guy that's out there. And you want the best. I said, if you want me to talk to him and tell him to go easy on people, I will. But it's not its not in my nature. As a comedian, I would never tell another guy to go easy. Like, no. He knows where he is. Mm. And if it becomes too much, then we'll deal with that. But mm. you hire a guy to do something, let him do it. They made that person sense it, whatever. But... When you walk out there and you don't know if you're going to do five minutes or yeah, 55 yeah, yeah. minutes, yeah, yeah. fuck that. Yeah. This guy yeah. was yeah. amazing. Really? You couldn't have asked for He's a better man. so good. I think oh, I've yeah. seen him. I think I've worked with him. The motherfucker I jump with a fucking ladder What's on his chin. What's a fucking ladder on his That's chin? Right. Mom, he hops on to the stage. Play with our fucking tools, fucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From fucking <laughs> hey, and he's got the fastest hand for that fucking slap hand. <laughs> The guy was—he he was fucking yeah, incredible. He, does a, he yeah. does a thing, man, where he fucking uh, puts a hand on top of the slap game. Like, slap your hands. Oh, he does that move. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and he's good. He's, he's good. I got laid, and the girl was like, "Let's play this game." I win, I get you. I was focused. It was good. We didn't draw. I'm like, "You stop fucking!" I gotta go. Like, wait. One more chance, bitch. Oh, that's fucking, fucking hilarious. I man. felt the fucking, you know, the nails, and I was like, I was in, wow. dog. Hey, so so uh, so you have a girlfriend, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and uh, is uh, do you have any issues in the relationship that are like? <laughs> well, we're so different. Like, yeah. What, what, what did you mean, though? No, no. I mean, from your childhood that came up. That's like, what I'm. Well, you see, if you <laughs> you're talking about this special, special, right? She's yeah. very like, oh my god. Like I tell these yeah. stories, I'm like this, dying, and her and her mom were like. Oh my god, <laughs> that is terrible! And I'm like, no, 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 that's that's how he is. He's like, it's my dad. And then, fuck, dude. So yeah, there is a little like, and look, what she said about the jokes. I yep. told her a joke, yep. and it's like raunchy, and, and she's just like, that's not. I wouldn't do that if I were you. I wouldn't go. But then I go on stage, and it kills. And I'm like, you see, you don't know, you don't know my my voice, you don't know yep. my shit. But she is helpful with certain shit. Like she doesn't know how to organize stuff. Yeah. And she's like in the industry, <laughs> not, not in the industry, but she's like. She works for the Dodgers. She does like the inside host and shit. Oh, she's, then she's a great oh, lady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So no, she's for the cool. Dodgers, she's, she's real good. Cool though. Like she could take a joke. Like we're quick, and she also like works but for she's Golden a host. Boy and she shit. She's a host. So, yeah, yeah. She's the inside host, the inside stadium. What's host. her name? Uh, Jessica Rosales. Yeah. I don't know if you know her. Oh, but. Yeah, but, but even I, the name. Don't oh, oh, oh. <laughs> 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 I'm surprised you didn't ask the big question. Yeah, yeah. 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 The yeah. name. Don't the fucking do that to me, name already. They, they, do they do it for everyone. They do it for everyone. I'm used to everybody. My girl is like, oh hell no. No, I don't want her. Even my kids. Pepperoni slices. Trust me, Jesus. Even my kids, my son. Where I'm out. I'm out to breakfast with my wife, yeah, my yeah, yeah. son, yeah. and myself. And he says, Dad, don't look down. But if Jory Hurry said, she's got big tetas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're a tetas guy. From the time, no, from the time we were kids, I'm not even like 11 years around, old, they, they, they go, hey, the nurse wants to talk to you. Does she have big tetas? <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that became the question she forever. Got, and so when, Even my wife what knows happens it. happens when you didn't get breastfed. On the show, if somebody's talking about, oh, there was a lady that was a detective, did she have big tetas? 
yeah, goes, the, the, yes or no. <laughs> and and no, I, cool, I, I do it all the time. I do it all the time. And yeah, even yeah. my wife, uh, who I affectionately call Sister Mary Clarence, because she's Mary she Clarence. she's the religious good one. Ah, right. Even yeah. she knows that George is going to say, does she have big tetas? Yeah. Oh, I got that then. All right, I understand yeah. that. That's what I do. Matt, what the, the guy Matt Williams, who's like uh, button that he he did uh, home straight as an arrow, yeah, yeah, for uh, for Tim Allen, straight right. guy. And I would we were working on uh, uh, St. George and FX, and he, and you know we great writer, you know. And I would say, does she have big titties? And he would be like, what's that? And, uh, what's that? Uh, what's that? that? So what's so that? we were in Santa Clarita. Working on the show and we're writing the things up on the board <laughs> and the girl comes in and goes, the acting coach is here. She has a one o'clock meeting and then Matt goes, Does she have big titties? <laughs> and we <laughs> the last person. It <laughs> <laughs> would be like if the Pope was out there and he goes, uh, uh, the, the nuns are here, do they have big the titties? titties. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, yeah. <laughs> when I worked in construction, like, there was a black makes them look bigger. Yeah. When I worked in, uh, in construction, there was a spice in North Carolina, there was a spice that do that were always like and it was this like slutty. He had a slutty. The guy that owned the company had a slutty assistant. She was slutty. You can tell. She was like, a puta. She was slutty. But I like the, you know. Yeah, but, yeah, but it takes a lot for a girl to be a whore because she's yeah. like, fuck it. Hey. I can tell. She, so I was like, I would get her. I was like, hey, come here. And I would grab her I, and say, Kala. So I told the Pisces. The Pisces were like, hey, how do you say? Give a little point at their chest. How do you say? And she would be like, eh? Titties. Like, you, oh, you mispronounce it on purpose so she can say it again. Is Diddy, I mean, how does it feel? Ah, ah this oh is Diddy. It's like, it's just like, yeah, it's Diddy. What's going on right now? It's like, I mean, it's Diddy. Compare it. Hey, wait. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For the whole fucking thing, she was just like pointing. I think, it might, I think it might be maybe they, if they don't breastfeed you, like it do that. I think it is. Uh, yeah. For the fixation no of it all, way. yeah, maybe that is no thing. I sure. see you know, that fucking breastfeed. I got a phone call the other day at my house. You know, the department saying, "Hey, there's this guy." They want your phone number. I was like, hey, wait, I said, "I'll give time." Here's his phone number. You call him if you want to. So I called the guy up and I said, "Hello, is Leroy there?" And he said, "Yeah, there's Leroy." Who's this? I said, this is Gil Carrillo. Listen, I got called by the department. They said you wanted to talk to me, and you were a longtime old friend. And I said, he says, yeah. I said, I apologize, you know, Leroy. I don't remember you. Oh, wow. And he says, Gilbert, Gilbert, listen to this. <laughs> hey, como se llama, mama? <laughs> 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 and I started laughing. He was the he was the black elevator operator. Oh. Mm. Slick, smooth, smooth. Talking shit all the time. Oh, they're awesome. On the weekends at the Hall of Justice, we used to have jail visits up there. So ladies would come in there, and he said, and one day he says, hey, Gilbert, watch this. Young, good-looking Mexican buddy goes up to her. Yeah. He says, uh, can I help you, ma'am? And she looks at him, and she says, no hablo inglés. And he turns back and looks at me and says, Yo hablo espanol. Como se llama, mama? Oh, <laughs> people are I had a, this is back at my apartment when I was growing up, and he was just all my cousin. Hey, my man, hey, he's your cousin. That's a bad bitch right there. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, but like, honest and shit. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah they, I guess she is. Yeah, yeah. Oh. God damn, she be like that all the time. God damn, man. And my man. And like, give me props because yeah. she's my cousin. Like, yeah, my cousin has a fat ass. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for liking the fact that she has a fat I ass. I just never forgot just straight that. Straight up, huh? And I remember Leroy, and we went and had lunch together yesterday. You did? Oh, wow. Yeah, he, he joined us. He is a cool. He, oh, he, yeah, he's cool. He's a good man. What's he, he do? What is he? Did he retire? Or oh, he, yeah, he's old. He's retired now. Still looks good. Still looks the same. Motherfucker <laughs> looks thin, too. It bothered me. Anybody <laughs> looks look thin good. when they're retired, it bothers me. But he looks thin. He's good. And it yeah. was a, he was a funny, funny man and worked uh, every moment. With, it didn't matter that he was an elevator operator. It was, you know, he was yeah. one of us. Lee Trevino, uh, you know, and I were like, we're like family, so Lee Trevino, the golfer. Oh, he says that he had the, he had his big caddy Herman. So Herman, African American dude, big dude, three times bigger than 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 Lee. And Lee and Herman were like Batman and Robin, fucking beautiful relationship. Ooh. And uh, uh, he goes, he goes, man, he goes, Herman, man, he got diabetes, man, he couldn't walk around the course. So I, re I, I retired him. I said, hey, Herm, you, you, man, you can't make it, man. You're not making it around, you know. I'll tell you what, I'll get you a car, I'll get you an apartment, and I'll give you money so you can live. You know, oh, and, he, and he goes, that motherfucker lived 25 more years. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he'd be dead in a year. That's him? Yeah. I heard. No way. He dude. said, I thought he'd be dead in a year. He goes, he lived 25 more Thank years. Me. I had to fucking pay for that shit. They were, they, it was a beautiful, so I was at, I was at his house. 
and Herman was 25 more years. And he called him up, man. Ooh. I got a chance to talk to him. Then they were just like, just. <laughs> so, you know, Augusta at the Masters, it's like all, you know, very white. And then they're walking up the ninth hole, and, and <clears throat> Lee Trevino goes to Herman, hey, man. When we get up there, man, give me a hot dog, man. Hot dog. Give me a hot man. dog, man. <laughs> so, hey, man. so he goes, we're on the tenth hole, and I, and all the people are around yeah. like this, and I see Herman and all the people, and he's holding the hot dog out, and it's got the foil on it, it's open, and he goes, bring it out here, and he's like this. No, why not? He goes, bring it out here, man. Walks out there, and he's holding the the hot dog. So it's a big African American guy in, at Augusta, Georgia, holding a hot dog out for a Mexican golfer. And Lee Trevino goes, did you tell him it was for me or did you tell him it was for you? How <laughs> 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 about that shit? When was that? When was that? Fuck when was that? In, the fucking si- in, the, in the late 60s, man. Well, I was, that, that's, How why, about that? that's why I volunteered to go back to Vietnam in 1969. Volunteer. They sent me to Georgia, and there was still segregation uh, back there. How about that he said, did you tell him it was for me or did <laughs> no, you, you tell him it was wow. for you? Fuck it. And he, and he goes, man, I didn't need a hot dog, but I just did it to get him to fucking come out and fucking hold him. <laughs> so, so Lee Trevino, again, 71, he wins the British Open. And the guy that he's playing, Tony Jacklin, and this is this is the power of the fucking Chicano, man. So Lee man. Trevino was already master's champ. Like, I already talked about Tiger Woods. Lee Trevino was doing it. Was doing it well, yeah. There were no Mexicans. But they, so he's playing at Muirfield, and Tony Jacklin is a European golfer. Oh. And a European golfer hadn't won the British Open in forever. And they're playing together. And Lee Trevino says, man, I'm on this par five, man, and I'm struggling, man. You know, get it out there. And that fucking Tony Jacklin says to him, hey, Lee, finish up in a way like well, hurry up. You, yeah. hurry up yeah. you finish so that I can, I can hit. Okay, yeah. And he got in the sand trap, and he's like this motherfucker. And, he, and it went in. On the, from the Ooh. sand trap. And he chipped in six times over the weekend, and they played on Sunday, and it was close, and he was going to win. And all the people come into the middle of the fairway, and Lee Trevino walked past him, and then he turned around. Now they're walking towards him, but he's walking back where he goes, hey, man, a Mexican's going to win your tournament. <laughs> like wow. that is the confidence. In Europe. A Mexican's gonna win your wow. team. Wow! And they all wanted that, and they all wanted that dude to win. I mean, it clear. Yeah. I mean, you could see Tony Jack yeah. and a fucking Lee Trevino showing over there to see. You know, he chipped in, fucking chipped I in. Like, see that. Yo, I want to see that. I saw. You can see it. Yes, sir. Man, final. So oh, I'm man, you went the fuck. Way. fuck it, I'm fucking... It's hard and harder than your fucking childhood. Oh, hell yeah, dude. That's what I love. You get a good round, you think, I can do fucking PGA talk. But ah. You fucking have a good ah. round in Pico Rivero. You feel like, I, ah. I got it. Hey, hey, don't, don't, fool, don't, be, then you start don't be talking like, bad about Pico. Don't, Pico. don't be hey, talking hey, bad about Pico. Miguel, the first time I fucking met Gil, I see you play golf. He's like, no, fuck it. Fuck that. You're lucky you have nice tetas around. I can't get the I can't get the ball past a windmill. I ain't going to go out there with the big boys. But fucking golf, man. I love it. Didn't I ask you, man? Yeah, you yeah. did. During the pandemic, every matter of fact, I still have. I told you I had a set of golf clubs that I put up in the yard sale, and I you said, "No, no, you just bring them out, bring them out, let's go." Yeah. I, oh, uh, no, how did I you start? How did, oh, man, my girl's dad. I've always wanted to. Did your dad ever want to play golf? Nah, fuck no. My dad never wanted to play golf. He was a soccer <laughs> poodle. I was soccer. That's why I like golf. Oh, oh this this reminds me of soccer. Watch this. Watch this. Wait, wait. Watch look this. at that. Look how fucking beautiful. Wait, wait, wait. Take my glasses off. Yeah, yeah. That's Tony Jackson right there. Yeah. Get away. Look at that. Watch this. Nice and easy. What's this? Look at that. Damn, it, it, it went on a hop. Yeah, it went on from a hop. Boom. Way. No mamas. <laughs> That's Dramatic. And he said, if it didn't go in, that thing was going 100 feet by. Look at that. Yeah, you see, oh, yeah. You see how fast it was when it, when it hit? Yeah, here, I'll put The floor, back. it was going to get another. There's some other in. ones. There's some other ones, too. Look at that thing, man. One hop. Boom, no, boom. Man, that pole fucking saved his life. What else? So there's game. another one like over the weekend, like yeah, when he yeah. wins. No, there's a couple here. Way. Look at that fool. Look at the. I love this dude, man. Look at that puck. Look at this. Look at that. Look at this. No. Oh! No. Oh, no way. That's the Bro. worst, isn't it? When you get it right there. And then I think that's is that to, is that to win? Way, is that to win? <laughs> I don't, I don't think so. There's still more time for the audience at home. We're watching uh, some golf clips from the 1972 uh, British Open. Ah, uh, yes. Look at that, fool. 17th hole. That fool does look paisa. I think that's... And where did they go to the... Oh, are they tied? Look at this. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Watch this. Here we go. Watch this. Oh, my God. Puro shit that don't match brown and fucking blue. <laughs> oh, for me, I would chuck that shit right there. Watch this. Mm. Watch this. 
I'm almost 11. Oh, no, mom. Oh, look at him. Look at him. Look at him. What are you oh, look yeah, at him. He's running. Look at him. Look at him. Oh. Fucking Kanye. That fucking dude. Like, look at him, man. What do you think he used a seven and like a putt or what? Look at that. Yeah. Man, he's listen. All pitch, okay. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, 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 the time that we... The times that we kick in mm. into a fucking gear that nobody has is when motherfuckers don't expect you oh, to be sure. as good as, as somebody sure. else would be normally. For sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. When you said, hey, it's the same guy, and they're like, fuck that. I always bring it up. That there's the same guy. Yes, don't right. fuck that. It's, it's, it's multiple, and then they talk and shit. Like, no, and no, no, you no, knew no. they were talking shit about you. Yeah. 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 I had a guy in my car yesterday that told me, he says, you know, I got I to gotta be honest with you. He was an old, the guy's 90 years old now, 89 years old. And I picked him up to go to this hot hot. He's I picked him up to take him to this homicide luncheon. You know, uh-huh. he's an old timer, retired and been retired thirty five years now. And so uh he's sitting there telling me, he says, You know, I remember when we were working the case, he said, I remember when guys were laughing behind your back. He says, You were saying it was one guy, he says, and uh it wasn't, you were right. He says, I remember them doing that to you. Fuck, man. man. So, it, it, no, I, I, and you know I, what, man? In yeah. a case like that, you don't have to fucking be right once. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I mean, yeah. how about that? Like, you only have to be right once. Like, you fucking said, "Hey, this is a, this is not, this is one dude." Yeah. And they're like, "Oh, this motherfucker." Of course, they're gonna underestimate you because of the color of your yeah. skin, and because I was young, you know, and and plus, nobody in hit criminal history had ever done what I was alleging. Yeah, the Richard sure. did, yeah. and still today, nobody's re- there hasn't been a copycat. That's the thing. I, fucking, I don't know what it is. Hey, what did he do, man? He did shit that nobody knows. He, ate, uh, yeah, he, I, he was a cannibal, right? No, no no cannibalism, but he was a pedophile. He was probably the yeah, panocha boy. Tart. He, was a, <laughs> he definitely <laughs> pussy, if that's what you're asking. <laughs> he was fucking... He was a tart. He was munching I, like a motherfucker. I stopped that first For some reason, the vaginas were chewed up. He, he <laughs> didn't... He didn't there were no cannibalism. He there was pedophiles, girls and boys. Yeah. yeah. He was raping and That's sexual crazy, assault huh? on on women. He was killing men. Uh, the weapons he used were everything from yeah. guns, wow. knives, machetes, blunt force trauma, manual strangulation, ligature strangulation. So it was just different. On and, and, what every is, and what is that in somebody that does that? It's it's it's. Uh, what is their thing that? Like they're just all sexual. Dude, they're, they're, they're in my opinion, it's all sexual. Yeah, yeah, something's off. Like they, when they get off of like the sexualness of killing somebody, it's like, oh, well, it, it, there's a off. lot of sexuality that goes into this. I've been watching that show, bigot. Mine Hunters, and I've been. Oh, yeah. And then when I saw your shit, it kind of makes sense when they talk about the trophies they keep. Yeah. Little things. But Mine Hunter only went two seasons, man. They fucking. Didn't but they were the fucking third good, yeah. man. They were fucking yeah. great, man. All of them were good, man. But 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 even watching your 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 guys' doc night, that they're like. Just seeing what you went through and everything, and just like a challenge. How come like, they haven't come back and asked you uh, to do another one? Like another one. That was the best doc, uh, though, right? right? The best. It was, great. it was shot the greatest. Initially, really good, it was fucking Initially, dope. it was num- trending number one for about a week and a half. Even though the also looked like Linda Ronstadt in his fucking PSA. And then it was yeah. number six in the world. Netflix was extremely happy, I've been told, and they wanted to shoot another. They want, hey, let's do a follow up. And then they finally came to the decision well, what do you do? That one was so good. What more could there be after that right now? And then they went into some other no, serial okay, killer. No. Yeah. But no. right now, uh, I have a Zoom call uh, tomorrow morning with uh, Netflix. Wait, I missed oh, her busy. Yeah. I, I don't know if right. we can make the next episode, George. I got I to gotta call. No, 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 no. George is num- my wife number knows. One. I'll do it for number one. one. George is number one. No, I like, I like the, 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 that dude looked like he was tough, that fucking Night Stalker. But then when he talked. Hell Satan. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. He is not yeah, that scary. Hey. But when he said that, that, that fucking book, Hell Satan. And right. everybody's like, oh my God, like, this is my mom with that fucking I tell you what, he had some good looking bitches after him. Did it? Yeah, oh, with yeah. the fucked up teeth. I'd, like, I'd, I'd, I'd have said Hell Satan if I could have gotten the project. Like, but cool. you saw him, like, you know, you fucking, you fucking yeah, he saw, saw, he saw him in the car with a bag. Damn, dude, one of the most notorious fucking people in the world. He's nothing more than another human, brother. That's all he was. I don't know, man. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. That would have been fucking crazy. At one time, He's doing this on the table. We're talking to him, and he's going like this. Oh, no, I get scared of this shit. But and, I'm and I just look at him, and he's looking at me, and he's going like this. And I said, go ahead and fill it in. He said, fill what in? I said, the pentagram. I said, that's what you're doing. And he says, you know about that shit? I said, yeah. And he went, he erased it all. What was I said, 
he was going to draw the pentagram. The pentagram gave him power, which is a symbol of the yeah. Satan. And so I just said, that shit doesn't bother me, Rich. You do what you got to do. That stuff doesn't Damn. bother me. Hey, this one, okay. I watch a lot of fucking ghost stuff, right? The ghost stuff in my house. Oh, no, they, my he, he, here's the fucking, they start doing it in Mexico. They're, they're like, they go to Mexico, they go to like an old <laughs> hospital, and they go, yeah. oye, si estás aquí... <laughs> Dame una seña que estás aquí con nosotros. Yeah. And a fucking thing of... Oh, my God! Ah! 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 They fucking... They fucking oh, out there. They, they have the cameras and yeah. shit. They're like... Si estás aquí, espera. Di algo. Di algo. Dame una seña. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> fucking shit all over the fucking momo. The fucking teton. The teton. The fucking fucking teton. The momo. The momo. Call the spirits in the area. Hold on. When I first met momo, he was like, "Hold on, wait a minute." No, like, get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. With a fucking headband. Hold on, wait a minute. Tits are hard. Something happened in your life that you struggle. Like, I, I, I told momo yeah. when we went to see your show yeah. uh, when they were taping the first one, first yeah. episode. So I told Momo that, and I said, hey, by the way, if you listen to the episode the other day, I said, I'm laughing my ass off. Momo's, or George is talking about you saying, hey, did you get Momo on your set? If you did, that's a killer. He's gonna, The show's going to fucking die. Don't let him on. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, and the shit was funny, and I couldn't stop laughing, Momo. But oh, can, I was not laughing at you, Momo. I was laughing at George. That's some good ah, stuff. Okay. And hey, you so, can take it. You're a big boy, dog. You're a big boy. I'll tell you, man. Aguantate, <laughs> way. I'll tell you. I, w I wish for you that you would that you would have an opportunity to create yeah. a show that. I hope so, man. Because it's it's the fuck. It changed. It's it's. I hope so. It dude. changed I my life. Man. I, need, I need a Sandra. Yeah. Uh, well, maybe, maybe you're my Sandra. I don't know. Maybe I, don't I am. Yeah. Maybe I am. Yeah, yeah. Because Bitch. it really, it really, man, it really fucking does mean so much, man. Like the. This episode that we're doing right now is a is a every Lopez Lopez versus Lopez. So every episode is Lopez versus anxiety. Lopez versus oh, that's great. Uh, at Christmas. So in this episode, the for my original cast comes back. Damn, how's and, that? And does the show, man? How's oh. that? How's that? Uh, and so at the table read, the woman that played my mom. And the guy that played the best, Valente, were at the table read. Wow. I read the script, and at the end, we're, the the the, first, the the people that are on the show right now, Mayan, and I said, somebody knocks the door, I said, oh, you know, my, you know, the ex-wife doesn't believe it's a real Latino Christmas unless there's like, you know, 10 people on the party. I opened yeah. the door, and I said, and the line was, uh, hello, family, and I uh, started crying. Yeah. Did you really? Good. No, nah, that's man, beautiful. That's a... I couldn't say it. You couldn't say it? No? Turn the page. And it's right there, and you're just like... Shit. Damn. They're all looking at me, and it's like... Wow, that's that's wow, heavy, George. Man. That's heavy. With only two of them there. Damn. And I just, man, it's like... And I told Bruce, I said, hey, how come, man? He goes, because things are so different now, man. It's like, yeah. nobody knew you. We were, you know, we're trying to do something, and then there you are, man. Like... And 20 years later, here they come back, and there you are again, you know? Wow. What was it's their beautiful. reaction? They, yeah, same thing. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, to me, to me, like, you Fuck. did, to me, you wow. did the impossible. Like, it's real, like you did the man, impossible. Man. Like, when, especially now when I'm going through what I'm going through, I'm like looking, I just think back of you, and I'm just like, damn, like, how? I know like, how? Was, and then, was... like, seeing how far you've gone, like, it's just like, damn, dude, like, you're one of us, and you fucking did it. Like, yeah. you, like and you went for it, and yeah. you got it. And, you know, I would hear stories, and I was afraid of me. I was afraid to meet you, to be honest with you, because I'm like, I look up to you so high, and I'm like, I don't want to get a bad moment and be like, ah, fuck that. Like, but it's just like, there's no way, because I feel like we grew up the same. Yep. Maybe not exactly, but the same of feeling like we weren't That's looked right. at. That's and we right. weren't like, and, it, and and we also were the same as far as, like, we were at these comedy clubs and we're like, you know what? I right, well, I know how this works. Fuck it then. You guys want to see me go? I'm gonna go hard. So that way you won't ever forget about that's me. That's right. And fuck it then is it, it, that's it. That's what it felt like because it, it's man. like, yo, you, you want me to bring people to this? And it's like you, you're getting these guys because they're kissing your ass. And it's like that's not me. Just I'm here because I, I, I have something to say. And it's like, all right, all right, that's what it is. Okay, we're gonna play your game. But when I come back, I'm gonna come back undeniable. You you won't be able to follow me in the comedy store in the fucking sunset. Yeah. In the early 80s, I was back there, and I wasn't even, I was in the middle of a conversation with guys who were better than me. And yeah. the one guy comes in, 
uh, 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 I can't remember who it was, and he, and he said to the other guy, those guys are regulars there. And he said, is this guy any good? And the dude went like this. Mm. And he said, do you hear any laughter? Oh, that's all you he mean. motherfucker just went like this. Yeah. He walked in, stood in the back of the hallway, he goes, this guy any good? And the dude just went like this. And mm. nobody was laughing. And he, he was like, all right. That's all yeah. you need. That's like all that. you need. Point is he any good? Did that's bend right. his ear. And it's like. You see, that's what I'm saying. I've, I've, I've had those moments where I'm like, orale puto. When I come back, I want to see. Like, when I see you, you're going to be fucking walking back and just forward to, because you're, yeah. you don't want to go up. Just don't and, go and chasing anybody down the street, yeah, down yeah, the yeah, fucking yeah, place. Yeah, with yeah. Them. <laughs> yeah but, but it's. But, you know, I, I, I think, you know, in all of this, like, in stuff that there's a, there's a, there's a society that we should create for of Latino comedians. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this. Like one thing that I do, I wish that would happen when I went there to the Laugh Factory Comedy There's a lot of white faces. Not saying like I'm not saying it's anything bad, but I'm saying like I saw how they saw themselves. Like Jerry Seinfeld will see a writer's like, oh, that's good. I'm gonna take you on with me. Yep. And I was like, it's like, man, I missed the big. I want a big brother like George to see me. I want Gabriel to see me. But it, no están aquí. Fuck it. They have their reasons. Yeah. At first, I was angry. I sec, but as like gone through this and saw how this works and how saw how people are i'm understanding why you're yeah. hesitant yeah but i'll tell you what we miss you the comedy fucking we talk yeah, about you no i'm telling you right now we talk about you like you're you're the goat right you are the goat the greatest of all time yep. you no one can touch you when it comes to your material you, the way you speak your truth that's pesado eh? like and we miss you and we just want to <laughs> yeah. see you bro we just want to see you well, we'll we'll and we have we have a show called brownish that it's like one of the top notch. Eric Rivera has a show that he's opening opportunities for everybody. But just to show your face, all these comics like that we I hear like, yeah. all you gotta do is show face. Should we though. go over there? He's good unless he makes fun of me. Yeah, he's like, right, right. <laughs> no, but for real. But you know, man, it's we, like we miss you, dude. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I my life is, di- but I'm still. I mean, you see me here. You can't if you make motherfuckers laugh. You make motherfuckers laugh. It's like That's right. you're, you know, That's some right. people they don't they can't do that. It yeah. can't translate the the thing, and today we did you know doing the show with my my daughter, but you, you were there. Yeah. But also, in the beginning, nobody knew me, yeah. you know. So I, so Bruce was like, you had to be a certain way because you had, you were introducing yourself to people. And today we did the TCA all the report. Jeannie Wolf like Jeannie Wolf is a fucking great report, like legendary. Yeah, yeah. And she's like, hey George, Jeannie, like it's welcome back. And she asked me a real question, and you're just like. I'm back, man. Like, almost in fucking uh, Color of Money. Yeah, fucking yeah, Paul yeah, Newman, yeah, 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 Fucking, right. you know what I mean? It's, like, it's yeah. like... But it's you, bro. The first like, time you make it, man, you... Nobody had ever fucking done it. So to go back and do it again, is like, why wouldn't I fucking have guys on? Why wouldn't I want to help man. fucking guys get their show? I should. I mean, that's, that's what I should do. And I do appreciate... Comedy Club is one me, thing, yeah. but I should get a motherfucker on the air around this show because you know I even I even said to Anna Navarro Anna Navarro hit me today she was with Kamala Harris and I and I said I said my my focus is this show and getting this show picked up that's yeah. my so, cuz it's my solitary fucking thing like the first was to get my daughter a show the show got picked up on the pilot and then now it's to get the the 12 and then the fucking 9 that they want and even today Everything's great, but it's not official until it's it's. And you know what? All these dudes would be wearing fuck that jackets and the chick out, yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. this. And it's nothing is is nothing until it's something. That's right. And dudes would always get ahead of themselves, man. Say, oh, you know, I'm working on a show over there. You know, I'm with Sony. Yeah, fuck it's that. like it ain't shit, man. Until it's until it is. Yeah, that's right. And whenever I would go to a fucking audition, and they would be reading, and the back they would write the names of the scripts. On the inside of the like a book, right? Yeah. And you would see fucking a hundred fucking scripts behind you, and none of the shows you fucking knew what they were. And you would look behind the person, and you would be like, "There's a hundred fucking shows back there that never got made." That's right. Like, why would mine get made? And then after a while, you just have to be like, "That's right." It's either most likely it's going to be no, but when it's yes, it's it's fucking amazing. Yeah. You, 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 and you can't do it alone. Honestly, I feel like I don't know, like you did your show for your for your own life and your own thing, your own like, your own journey. But like you know, every comic when they do stand up, they wish that they can inspire somebody. And it's like honestly, like you did that. 
for me. Man. Like you, you made me as a kid. I watched you in Que Locos. I was third grade, <laughs> and I was, I will, I, fool, third grade, thinking I know, like, I was good in there. man, you were great. You fucking. I was. Then, I was fucking. No, you were. You're still fucking the great. But what I'm trying to say is that like, you made me find. You you know what you taught me? You, you taught me how to be true to myself. In this fucking industry, in this game, when you're your, by yourself, I don't have no guidance. Right. But I say, you know what? I would go to a library and I would watch you. I would watch all your sets, your fucking interviews. And I saw how true you were to yourself, to your own fucking life, your own pain. You were universal. And that's what I was like, that's, that's, that's it. That's what I'm going to be. I'm going to be true to me and my voice. So I appreciate it, man. Thank in you. The, in, the, in the Why You Crying Beautiful. DVD, there's a half yeah. hour uh, of an interview I did in my dressing room at Warner Brothers. And everything I said I was going to do, I did. Yeah, you did. Yeah. What's the future hold? I said, everything I said came true. And it's like manifest destiny. Now that everybody's trying to be, you know, uh, with the, with Buddhist, the crystals and like, and like yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, you can, you you can. I mean, well, what 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 would call it? Like you're just putting a, a fucking vela. You light a candle yeah, and for something. The, but but believe it. Don't just light a candle. Yeah, do something about it. Yeah. And, and you know, I never lit a candle for somebody who was gone. I only lit a candle for somebody who was alive. Yeah. Because gone is gone. Yes, I've never right. lit a candle. <laughs> like, <laughs> you right? I didn't yeah, want to yeah, cross yeah, yeah, the road. Yeah, yeah. You go to the Vatican, there's a, a, a thousand candles. But people light candles for people that are gone. That's and right. we need to fucking light our light for motherfuckers that are still around. That's right. Man. I'm, That's right. I'm not a comedian. I'm right. just a lucky motherfucker in life. Man. I'm blessed. I'm lucky. I sat there. I told me the other day I was uh, in Las Vegas. In my room, I had tears rolling down my cheek. My wife says, what's wrong? Sat on your balls? Tender Tender She says, what's wrong? You know, we're, we're there and we're there in Vegas for the weekend to watch. Oh, that's right. Show. That's right. So, I was yeah. like, what the fuck? That was, that was fuck amazing, right? Yeah. And, and, I just amazing. Sat, and I just sat there and she says, what's wrong? You know, and I said, I just can't believe what I've done in life to be here to deserve what I'm going through right now. Man, that's how I this feel is, right this now. Is, this is all... I got him a room. This, 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 this is all, all, all good, all great. <laughs> Being able to go through what I've done, uh, enjoying the fruits of it now, and to be able to work with somebody that I used to pay good money to go see. That's crazy, right? And now I get to sit right across from him drink his beer free. You know, the, the <laughs> first time I was going to meet you, I uh, I was just too afraid to say hi because it was Costco and you were a tequila. Oh. And you made a list. It was oh, like in yeah. Irvine. Yeah. Well, I was that's in Orange right. County. I drove all the way to Irvine because I heard you were going to be there. Yeah, that's right. I had a text like, oh, he's going to be. I fucking drove. I saw you and I just couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't say hi to you wow, then man. because it wasn't the right time. Yeah, yeah. I was like, no, nah, yep. I want to meet him, meet him. I don't want to meet him like forcing. Yeah. I want to meet him because of what I do and what we do. Yeah. So, like, the fact that we got this, I was yeah. like, man, And what about, what about when you came in? Like, I was, was I laying with my feet on the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, that's the thing, And he yeah. said, and he's like, hey, I wish I could. What did you say to me? I, wish I, I said, could. you need to learn how to relax, brother. You're too, you're too stressed out. His feet are up like this. <laughs> too stressed <laughs> out. Yeah, and yeah. then well, you and I have never met before. Never. And then when you came up to me, I stood up and shook your hand. That's right. I didn't continue so, to lay down. And go like this. Hey, what's up? I stood up like a man. I shook your hand. I, the first I time we ever that. met. I, I stood up that. and it takes some act of I, 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 I appreciate yeah. that. I hear all these things There's about you. I, I know I'll tell it's you not right true. Now, <laughs> it ain't fucking true. <laughs> and everybody told me like, oh, good luck, good luck. But I was like, no, you know what? <laughs> good luck. I, honestly, I don't think you lived the way he lived because I, like, I feel no. like we lived. So I was like, I, I'll be all right. I'll be all right. That's good. When we go man. through the same shit, we just we 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 know the the is the there is there the people who are veterans, man? They're to go to the war. You can't duplicate it. You can't explain it to anybody. You have yeah. to fucking be there, and especially like this is compared yeah. to living or dying. Yeah, yeah and yeah. you see somebody, right? You yeah. know that man. That's this right. This is this is all good. You try and block out all the bad stuff. You just yeah. think about the good stuff, yeah. and that's oh. all I. That's hey, all so I if think he's about an asshole, because you're cause maybe you're a dick. Maybe you're weird, dog. Like, <laughs> I, made, I made myself, you know, away because I thought that that. That's the way I grew up. I thought that that was the way for it was for me to to work that way was was that way because it's really it's not it's not easy to do, you know. I, and and today when I go, uh, you know, in the dressing room and yeah. I'm in there and you know, uh, you know, Eddie Van Halen was like one of my fucking best friends. Oh no! Shit. And to be able to like I I, I started to buy uh, when he was alive. But he gave me a guitar because we we 
he was, you know, I bought him these fucking PXG clothes that are like five thousand dollars, and he's Ooh. like, I go to his house, and he's like, oh. <laughs> he's like, those fucking clothes, dude. I looked at all the they're five grand. I said, yeah, motherfucker, oh, I gotta buy you some fucking cheap. He's like, no, I didn't get you anything. I said, I didn't fucking buy those clubs for you to get me anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he gave me one of his four black stealth guitars that's in my. Get out of here. You have it? You have it? Ching. And beautiful. I didn't, I didn't buy him those clubs because I wanted anything. I loved them and yeah. I love them. And, and I said, hey, motherfucker, you can play with some good shit. We, he had a locker at Lakeside. That fucking motherfucker still had steel cleats on the chick. <laughs> still cleats. The, 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 yeah. the, the fucking, his, his shoes were so old, they bent up like the Wicked Witch. No, <laughs> yeah. he oh, like, no. He's like, no, these are all right. Yeah. Fuck this way. Yeah. So I come in, you know, he's wearing like yeah. cargo fucking shorts. Yeah. A, fucking, a fucking rock star. I and I come in with a top button, and he, goes, and, he, and he looks at me and he goes, hey, we're... Uh, where can I get some of that stuff? I said, fucking right there. <laughs> well, nah, the windows yeah. are tinted, right? The fucking pro shop. He goes, right where? I go, in there. He goes, what? I said, in there. He <laughs> opens the door, he looks at me, he goes, they got in there. They're fucking in there. <laughs> he didn't know that they had, I go, I thought there, he goes, I thought that's where the air conditioning, well, motherfucker, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I he told you know twice. the fucking pro shop. Get out of here, boy, that's crazy. They're fucking See in there. He goes, I thought this is where the air conditioning was. <laughs> Motherfucker. Oh walked God. in there. He looked back. He goes, it's in there. <laughs> and like that <laughs> shit is like fucking. That's crazy. All your, like the friends that you made Man. during the fucking grind. Yeah. Well, okay. I have a question. What's mo what's one moment that you vividly remember? That you're like, oh, I, I think I made it. Like, uh, like no, not that one. <laughs> no, 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 no. But you felt like, I was scared. Like, I think this, I think my life is going to change. Like, um, in 2002, I did um, the Alma Awards, and mm. I knew Cheech. Oh, Cheech. I met Cheech in uh, like eight, in the eighties, in the late eighties. And Cheech comes over and he goes, "Hey, hey man, uh, <laughs> hey man, <laughs> Carlos Santana wants to wants to sell uh, rotas. Get the fuck out of here!" No, way. not my soul. And uh, was the show out already? The white, the the the, the local yeah. show. Okay. And uh, I went over there, and he. Touched my face, and he told me how much he had a fucking mental. What? And I was like, what? And they sent me this picture from his sound check yesterday. We've been friends ever since. Get the fuck. That's Carlos? With a fucking beanie on. <laughs> and I sent him flowers, man. Every time and, I work uh, out, I hear Black Magic Woman. Yeah. Every time I work out. He texts me, man. He texts me, <laughs> text me at 8 o'clock in the morning. And he said to me, I mean, look, man, he sent me this picture, man. And he's like, look at us, man, like, right? I heard you pull that or something up. Uh, he uh, goes, look at us, you know, the picture. And I said, oh, yeah? I said, and I sent him this one. Hey, look at me. Hey. That little kid. Hey, wow. wait, wait, what? Damn, look at you. Wow. And me and him, man, in the morning, eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All fucking. Like fuck like fuck tape back we all got a fucking. I'm gonna tear my fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. old picture. You yeah, yeah, hadn't we, even brushed your teeth yet. Yeah, yeah. we all had that drunk night uh, and be like, no, I don't fucking love myself. Like, oh, okay, <laughs> man, they gotta tape it back up. And at eight o two in the morning, um, damn fools, you guys are close. He sent me a a, a a song of him and Placido Domingo, man, playing. Wow. And he said, "Peace and harmony, love you, adore you, cherish you, miss you." And Damn. Oh, what sweet. Yeah. Now, they're going to be performing in uh, Vegas in a couple of weeks. Look, yes. they're <laughs> insensitive. Fuck you. I thought that my mom was talking like that. Do you ever, like, wake up and just be like, yes. this is really every, happening? Every day. Man. Really? Does that rock? Like, <laughs> Everybody that I... Uh, I still have those doubts. I'm driving, I'm like, I might not make it. Fuck oh, it, man. So you're going to make you, it. You have those, like, doubts. You're like, like what if I'm not, like... You're gonna make I gotta it. do a fundraiser. That's what I say. At 72 years of age, though, I say I don't give a fuck. I ain't got that much longer no, to live man. anyway. Yeah. You know, no, 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 no. no. listen, man. You're good, you're good. I mean, but you know how this is. You all know how the this is. all like, the people that I had my posters of the Kiss and Van yeah, Halen yeah. and Ted Nugent and my grandfather. Get that up, bitch! Hold the bitch! You're gonna get those fucking hold the. And he, and my grandfather would say, "When you come home, they're gonna be all torn down." I said, "No, they're not. That yeah. fuck is not your fucking house." And I yeah. and I thought I'd come home one day and they'd all be torn down and break my fucking heart. And he didn't. He didn't fucking tear them down. But and all the dudes that I had on my wall were were are now all my friends. But also everybody everybody I admired was not Latino. 
they were either African American or they were or they were white. They weren't La- they weren't Latinos because there wasn't there wasn't somebody until Freddie to me until Freddie, Freddie Prince. Prince yeah yeah that's how it was for me with like music and stuff and, like <clears throat> all my even like uh, comics all of them were like black until like, yeah Ken Locos came out and was like hey wait but all music man I mean you know we we you know the uh, you know Jorge Santana passed away he was in Malo. You know? Oh, that's right. So yeah. were they brothers or como yeah. tu... and they had they had beef and they got back together and they oh, played together. Okay. So I went to the center there in San Francisco where the where the Warriors play. Santana opened it and wore and oh, I sure. emceed. And Jorge Santana was back there and he had a guitar and was telling me about guitars that look like Fenders but they're knockouts they're from Japan and they're not as much. Wow. And I was in there playing with them. You know, I play you know, just fucking around and he's <laughs> and and he sent me a picture of us. With a message that said, "Hey man, I got a guitar for you, man. Hit me up." But I didn't get my number. It was a Facebook, and he passed away. Wow. And I didn't see the message till after. No. And I sent it to Carlos to see what how his brother was, and he was just like, "Man, Chingao. are you serious, bro? Like, thank you so Chingao. much." Chingao. Chingao. Come on, damn dude, that's good. All right, so <laughs> here it is. <laughs> a week from Sunday, I'm taking a private plane. From Van Nuys or Burbank to to Las Vegas to go see Santana and come back That's so in sad. the same day. That's what's so up. That's awesome. You guys want to go with me? Up in the I room the other night, don't. you said you, you. I was just mentioning that he was let's up there. And you said you want to go. I said let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, let's fuck go. It. I'm down. I'm gonna take the people from the new show, and we're all gonna go and come back in the same in the same day. I'm gonna look there and back. All right, go over there to see now. the show. Go down and say hello, pay respect, and come back. Man. All right, good. I'll Thank be you dope. for coming in, brother. Oh, no, so George, yeah. come on. Dude. Thank you. Gracias. Yeah. Man. Thank you. I appreciate Gil. it. Thanks for coming. Thank out. you. Uh, I'm going to have to get an extension belt for the seatbelt. Extension. <laughs> 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 Southwest. Yeah, Maybe you go Southwest and we'll go. We'll be cheering. <laughs> We're going Chicano Jeez. Air. Jeez. He's already told me uh, if they do a life story on me, they're going to get uh, fluffy. I'm part of Detective Gil's career. Hey, but you know, let's. Hey, you know what? Yeah. Uh, come and get COVID tested on my show, yeah. And come and hang around and see how it works. And let's put you on the show, man. Oh, damn, but you, man. but come Thank and get te- you, but come and get because I'm fucking testing this. Yeah, so, you got it. Yeah, bro, it's like oh, it's dude, crazy, yeah, I'm dude, right? I'm yeah. there. I'm there. We had a show. You, you, you we had the show. To go in the, uh, yeah, you had, had a show. In. We had a show. The but room. I want you to come down and oh, see there. what it's like on the ground. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and let's start to let's start to work on your damn man. No, no, man. Thank you. I appreciate that. And no, Gil my dad could, right now. And Gil could be the dude that the, uh, waves across like a chicha toast. <laughs> chicha, like, oh, 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 Gil, oh, oh, I, I, uh, Gil had a stretch. Oh, with a cherry, nigga. <laughs> Jerry! Jerry! Oh, <laughs> like, oh, oh, hey, you know what? We have to put Jerry in there. Oh, you got it. Jerry, I'm not going to see a what? Toma. Jerry! I think it's pretty good. I think you at some point you could do that where the. We were like, oh, man, let's get out of here. My neighbor's almost 10, 15. <laughs> yeah, what, 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 I gotta go. My neighbor's got a trip right now. What like, happens at 10, 15? Hi, Jerry. I'm at a police. Jerry's coming out. Who's Jerry? You'll see him, motherfucker. Jerry. And, and literally, the fucking dad ran through the fucking screen door with Jerry fucking chasing him with a belt. the hood. Fucking, for, the, the hood. son chasing him with a belt. All right. Thanks for coming in, bro. Gracias. Thanks for coming and, out. And to the next special, and to the show, and to the, all yeah. the big things. Yeah. Oh, man. Thank you. Yeah, you deserve, man. Catch your special streaming now on HBO Max, Mr. Tough Life. Yeah, anything else you. to plug? Good name. None of the. I got my, uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, I, I've, uh, Give me the Mr. Tough Life story. Tough Life story. Uh, no, but that, 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 what, the, the name. Great, or, yeah, the that's name. a great name. The it's name? a fucking great name, man. The name. We were just trying to figure out a name. We were thinking about like I forgive you and stuff like that. And then, um, but then <laughs> I, I just remember my dad just like I, everything like when I complained. Ay, calmate, do, do, dolorido. And that yeah. would be my nickname or yep. like Mr. Tough Life. So he says that in the joke, and oh, I said that's it. That's how he is. He finds one thing that you complain about, and he'll use it against you to be your nickname. <laughs> uh, you don't love me. I, Mr. You don't love me. Come here, Carlos. <laughs> yep. Come eat. And that's what, what, is, do. what does he say now that you've got the... Now I got, I got the... Uh, no, I know. Well, you're on TV, I man. It's different, knew. man. I always knew. Ah, yeah, I always knew. Ah, <laughs> yeah. So I'll, I'll, I'll tell you one thing. Special. both ways. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing about my dad. Yeah, I'll give him one. I'll give him this, dude. When I first went out here, I had no money, and I was like a place where I was broke. And he said, "You're gonna go. You're gonna ask for money, cabron. So no vayas." And I'm like, oh, "I gotta go. And this is what I want to do." I went. I was broke the first week. I fucking came with like a thousand dollars. I burned that shit in a fucking week. <laughs> And I told him, I can't. And he's like, pues vente, cabrón, vente. And I was like, no, I can't, I can't. And 
he knew I was working these little jobs, and then he was like, what do you need? Get, 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 what do you need? And I'm like, well, I need to fucking do stand-up, and I can't. I have to pay bills. He's like, mira, I'm going to give you one year. I got oh my whatever God. you need. And, oh, man, like I get wow, choked up dude. thinking about it because it's like I thought I was never going to get that from him, and I felt like a relief. And I was like, damn, wow. all right, give me that. So that's why when I would go on stage, I said, fuck that. I'm not playing here. Yep. Mm -hmm. My dad is sacrificing. My family sacrificing. I'm sacrificing time to yep. see them. They're growing. Every time I see them, they're getting older. Like that's, right. that's just doing something to me. So when I go on stage, it was like I'm perfecting this. I'm not playing. Right. And that's that was the that was the, what I needed from him. So I'm always gonna be grateful to him. That, that's right. And my sister just gave me her car. She's like, then my car broke down halfway to Phoenix. He said, here's my car. Go back home. Don't even worry about it. So now they're very like. They're, they're they're happy they're seeing things are like happening for me because like they feel bad knowing every year there's like eh, we'll see we'll see and now yeah. they're like all right he's doing it so but you know we'll, we'll see what about a white person gonna say I think it's better if you use my automobile and I think it'll be like ten there's one ten ten all yeah, that yeah, yeah, in yeah, one, yeah. one fucking <laughs> ten. Yeah, ten. ten so so. I'm grateful for, for them. Yeah, man. You know, man. I'm doing it for them, too, you know? So it's, it's not just me. That's why I took them to New York, because it wasn't like, this isn't just me. This is them. They're with me, too. They're, they gained the phone calls when I said, I didn't get it. I didn't do this. The show got canceled. They feel what I'm feeling. So when I got this, they were as happy as I was. So I'm like, you got to be there with me. So, But you know what, man? Yeah. It's okay to be able to not, you know, be the most confident at any time. Well, I was yeah. working at the fucking improv in D.C. in the mid-'90s. The guy would go out there, and before he would introduce me, I would say to myself, I would rather be anywhere else in the world than where I am right now. Damn. And fucking walking out on stage. I would say, I would rather be fucking anywhere else Damn. than right here. <laughs> it's just like Nerd fucking nebulous. defeated, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, fuck this shit, man. And it, it, can, it can happen. You know, I, I, I was just the opposite. I never had a family that treated me bad or my, my dad wouldn't make fun of me and wouldn't do anything else. <laughs> and all I ever wanted in life yeah. was to make my dad proud. And that's, all, that's all I ever wanted in life was to make him proud. Yeah. I heard and the story that he did for you. That so you he finally did. Later. Finally so. did. Yeah. So I'm happy. This is about the draw cries at drawings, eh? <laughs> you know what? It, isn't that trip? It's, it's called little... art, okay? Remember <laughs> like, that dude that there's a white dude drew his dad. He's like, yeah. oh, <laughs> <laughs> He's lactating. Ah, the fucking lech is coming yeah. out. Like there's certain, there's certain that fucking carnation. Yeah, there's, 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 there's certain songs that hit me different. I'm just like, he goes to oh, yeah. my, I just start crying. I don't know what it is. <laughs> right? I, 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 I don't, that, don't that give a shit about the both of you. That, that drawing was good. It was good. No, it was yeah. good. It was good. Yeah. He, 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 he got it up. Exactly. And whatever. Yeah. Whatever he used, yeah, he it made me cry. My you. wife, my my kids, they, they looked. It, it just looked like my dad. And it was but you know, man, like you're 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 like your mom and dad are still alive. Yeah. You know, and yours are gone. Mine are gone. And my grandmother and grandfather are gone. And and you know, I have somehow a picture of my grandmother ended up in my dressing room door at NBC, and I spent like five minutes looking at it, man, like just looking at it, and I could hear her voice and see her in that time. But she passed away in 2009. But was really vacant from like 2004 to nine. But to look back when I was a kid, and that was the most important person in my life. Like I would see her and look at her, and I would say to myself in the car, I would say, "Man, if anything happened to this lady, man, I don't know what I would do." Damn. You know. Damn. If she passed, you know, somebody said, "Oh, you know, I was 14 and my mother passed away." It's like I would look at her and I would say to myself, "If anything happened to this woman right here, I don't know what I would do." Damn. Shit. And even though she was not the nicest lady, she was nice for her. Like when mm. when when she said, "You made me nice." I don't know her fucking life, and as much as she tried to tell me, I wouldn't know her life. And it was not easy. But you know what? It's not easy. It's not just her. Fucking, it's not easy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not easy. It was a bunch of shit she was going through. Yeah. yeah. Everybody goes through. I got through you with that. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, with that. like that. Yeah. yeah. I wish you would have said that instead of saying, "You don't know my life." She probably would have said, "You know what?" Don't have my life instead of you don't know my yeah, life. There you go. Mm -hmm. Like let me in. Tell me what yeah, the fuck happened. Yeah. That my, my, when I did that, that in the joke, I talked to my dad, and I did that. It really happened, but it not like dramatic like that. But I had a moment where it was like, so I was scared, like you know what, fuck, you did this and that, and I told him everything, and he just said, and my dad's like, you okay? And what about me? Well, the things that I sacrificed for you, eh? 
I'm expecting a thank you or nothing, but but you criticize everything I do. But are you okay? What are we? We gave up everything for you, and for you to at the end come back and say, "Oh, but you never did this." Who gives a fuck? I gave you this type of life. You're yeah. supposed to take this and run with it. And us, like, my generation is like the oh we we didn't have this and that. It's like fuck that. Look what we have though. Right. Because of them. It's, so that's changed the relationship between me and him to be like I understand every every sacrifice you did for me. Especially when I moved out here and how hard it is to pay bills, and I'm like, they did yeah. it with three kids, and uh, and and them being around is still is better than them being gone, right? Because you're That's like, right. you're, you're 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 absolutely. You can't talk to a memory man, like yeah, no, that's you know, I can only imagine. Yeah, like you know, that's. That's the name of my what? next album, man. Yeah. Right, yeah. This might be the yeah. long, one of the longest. This, oh, this, this, one, this oh, one had shit. it all. This was two hours. I almost, wait. Almost I said, uh, I thought about it for 35 minutes, you'll already be done. Yeah, <laughs> 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 come over with that thug, cabrón. That fucking Rudy Moreno que la chica. Are you guys going over to that fucking money in my pocket tour? Yeah, I can't. I've been. How's that club in Bellflower? It's cool. It's cool. It's nice and tight, intimate, but it's like, you know, that's the cities I worked on, fucking South. Gay, HP, fucking, he's, you know, all that air witty. Did you ever work for uh, when yeah. Willie would do shows? I know, I never worked with Willie, por la misma, because I knew that how he was. I'm like, I'd rather not. I'd rather not. <laughs> hey, they I said, have a short fuse too, and I'm like, I don't play. Hey, uh, they okay. said Willie would pay you $200, and after he goes, hey, bro, you know, yeah, something man, happened. Uh, yeah, something yeah, happened. Yeah, the lights you were you going give out. You got $120 back. What yeah, the fuck? Yeah. No, bro, it's 80, man. I'll give yeah. you too much, man. Like, it didn't feel, yeah, yeah, yeah. Back, hey. it didn't feel good when I work at these spots like Steven Steakhouse, and they're like, you know, George used to work here. <laughs> Steven Steakhouse. used to make me feel like, Get the fuck! I'm seeing what he saw, you know. When I work at Visalia yeah. with the Leonard, I just did a thing for Leonard, yeah. and he tells me I had George. It made me feel good to be like, damn, I'm doing what they did. Yeah, like, it, it, you know. You know what, man? Uh, it feels good though. When, when you good. when you see when you say you can see what they saw, but yeah. like you know, I went to my friend Ernie's house and I saw Richard Pryor live in Long Beach, and oh, then I, I did my Why Are You Crying in fucking Long Beach, mm. and I said, where would you want to do it? I said, man, I gotta do it in Long Beach, man. And he sent and the yeah. flowers that are on the Why Are You Crying special, fucking Richard Pryor sent me those flowers. Well, you know what? That's funny you say that because I was just going to tell you that. But I did a show for Big Boy, and we did it there. And when I was on that stage, I said, I saw what George Ooh. Lopez saw. And that thing, I, I stood there for 30 seconds not saying anything. I was like, and I kept saying, oh, man. Oh, man. It's just, it's it was beautiful. like, I saw what you saw. He can no manches. This is where he did fucking, why are you crying, dog? The, what I saw for years. It was. And then man. I fucking went out there, and I stood on the stage yeah. in, the, in the rehearsals. And he goes, I got a picture of Richard Pryor. Who gives a fuck? Yeah, like, I fucking yeah, yeah. saw that. I stood where he said that. He said, man, the guy's taking pictures. What's your motherfucker taking pictures? Nothing's flashing. He goes, why do you want to take a picture of me? He goes, hey, I got a picture of Richard Pryor. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> Who gives a fuck? <laughs> Who gives a fuck? <laughs> I mean, man. I'm telling you. Like that. This is fucking good. This is crazy. All right. Awesome. All right. Thanks, man. Damn. Oh, yeah, but, but oh, check out my show. Sorry. Yeah, hey, go, go, go. Please, I think I yeah. make some money. Of course. <laughs> uh, if you can come up to my shows, I got a show in uh, in Glendale, Arizona at the Stir Crazy. Look at my link in my bio. And then at Bellflower, I have two shows, October 14th, uh, 7 o'clock and 10 o'clock. So and then uh, what, are the, what are the handles of uh, your social media? Oh, yeah, yeah, Jesus the Comedian. Jesus the Comedian. And, shit. and then uh, and find me on YouTube. I have my own podcast, too, with American Wannabes. And... Um, uh, time flies where I tell stories of my childhood stories. Oh, yeah. so I, I even interview, interview my parents and, she, and so yeah, so I have stories there. So yeah.